That's growyourowngroceries.org. Support also comes from Be The Media, a workshop, mini-conference, and party, exploring alternative media and celebrating the launch of the Liberty Beat GCN Partnership. It happens Saturday, October 25th, and will be live-streamed at thelibertybeat.com. Be the media and change the world. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, October 16th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. And make sure you like us on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash the Liberty Beat. One year in the House of Corrections suspended on good behavior for one year and 100 hours of community service. That's the sentence handed down Thursday to the host of the nationally syndicated Free Talk Live radio program. Ian Freeman's sentence was decided by Keene, New Hampshire Superior Court Judge Edward Burke, arising from the charges of unsworn falsification and prohibition. The charges stem from an arrest in April of this year and were based on the state's claim that Freeman failed to file the proper paperwork in order to use the name Ian Freeman for his New Hampshire driver's license. Freeman's given birth name is Bernard. Freeman's show co-host of 12 years, Mark Edge, provided character testimony, telling the court that Freeman would not learn from being locked in a cage and has, through Edge's influence, recently toned down his controversial civil disobedience activism. Freeman told the Liberty Bean he's thankful that he's not going to jail and that a suspended one-year jail sentence is a hefty price to pay for getting a name change. The state prosecutor had recommended a sentence of 60 days in jail. The Free Barrett Brown Organization is asking supporters of the jailed journalist to mail letters to the judge that will sentence him on November 24th. The organization is asking for sympathetic letters detailing Barrett's contributions to be mailed to Judge Lindsay. Barrett Brown has been behind bars for over two years, a portion of which was spent bound by a gag order. He was originally accused of sharing a hyperlink to stolen data, hiding laptops, and threatening a federal agent. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Support also comes from Sovereign Living, a podcast, blog, and reality show about what it takes to live a voluntary and natural life. Check out the blog at SovereignLiving.com and watch episode one of the soon-to-be-released reality show at SovereignLiving.tv. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, October 17th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. In what medical authorities are calling one of the worst ointment complications in White Plains Hospital's history, area girlfriend Caroline Nagler was rushed to the ER this week after suffering an extreme overdose of scented lotion. With a blood lotion level of 0.45, hospital sources confirmed that Nagler had rubbed onto her body four times the lethal limit of shea butter, green tea cleanses, and naturally soothing mineral therapies. Even putting aside the sheer level of lotion Ms. Nagler had on her person when she arrived at the ER, this was an especially lethal combination she was using. She was mixing scented moisturizers, age-defying serums, and even some harder stuff like jojoba and essential fruit extracts. Frankly, she's lucky to be alive. In other news, Beijing's air solidifies. A Delta Airlines counteragent assures a man he will never see his family again. And a mannequin must think he's some pretty hot <laughs> They say if you love something, let it go. But how could we possibly leave you behind after being blessed with a relationship as unique and complex as this one? For more, keep checking TheOnion.com. This is The Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. Dial in toll-free here. The number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can also join us via Skype. Our Skype username is lrn.fm. Feel free to reach us there if you prefer. In fact, I prefer because usually it sounds better uh, over Skype. You can also get interactive on our website at freetalklive.com. With you uh, here tonight on our live Saturday edition, it's me, Ian. And me, Mark. Just uh, fresh back in my case, and Mark, you're probably somewhat fresh back from Keene's Pumpkin Festival. Now, uh, for those of you who aren't in the Keene area or in New Hampshire or in New England, you may not have heard of the Pumpkin Festival. It's a place where uh, they have the record, the World Guinness Book of World Records for the most, most pumpkins. Lit, carved, lit jack-o'-lantern. Carved and lit. Okay, see, yeah, that's, uh, it's like, I don't know, what, 30,000 or something ridiculous like that? Yeah, it's something like that. It's fairly large. And so there are thousands of people. Now, we live in Keene, New Hampshire. This is a town of uh, 25,000 on a, you know, on a standard good day. day. Uh, there's, you know, some people who come in to shop here, so maybe add in another ten or 30,000 during the day. To, 
uh, tonight, there are probably another 70,000 people uh, here in Keene. And so the streets are packed, streets are shut down, the police are everywhere, and uh, we're in the eastern time zone as we're doing the show in Keene, New Hampshire, so it's just now getting dark uh, outside, and already things have been pretty crazy here. Um, I was out on the streets. Wasn't there something like a riot? That went on? So there was apparently some sort of a, a skirmish between some college students earlier today. I did not get footage of that, but uh, some people did, and there were apparently riot police called in for this. Aren't you They're- glad you're kid- sending your kid to a four-year uh, college so that they can go and fight other kids uh, at what? Thirty thousand dollars a year. There was a huge. You could do that in community college. Uh, there was a huge bottle war, for lack of a better term, a better term that happened in one of the college streets. There were just kids, college kids, all throughout this, you know, good chunk of this street, hundreds of them. And at some point, the this crowd just kind of split in two, and there were uh, multiple males who were flinging bottles, uh, glass bottles, at one another in the streets, uh, just for a solid ten minutes. And it was pretty crazy. Now, the interesting thing was there were a bunch of police in this particular neighborhood. And it's pretty obvious that something was going on, right? Like people are just kind of clumped off and there's people throwing bottles. It's not like a a quiet scene. It's very, very loud. They're shouting. And And there's bottles being thrown. The police didn't do anything at all. Uh, The police, in fact, were a bunch of them were down to one end of the street. And then watching or... They couldn't have not known. I mean, they had to have known that something was happening there. I wasn't by those police. I was actually in one of the houses. Uh, I went up on the porch before the bottle throwing what started. What were you doing in a house on a porch? I went up on the porch, and I, and I asked these guys if I could get a shot from the porch. And one of the guys said, you want to get a shot from the roof? And I said, absolutely. And so he let me up into his room. Uh, we opened up the window. I did not go out onto the roof. I kind of sat out the window halfway and pointed the camera at things. So I got quite a bit of footage of uh, this bottle war, for lack of a better term. And, you know, w- would that be called a riot? Uh, probably, Sounds like a riot to me. Probably. I don't have the uh, the legal definition of riot in front of me at the moment, but uh, but I would guess that would qualify. I'll take a bunch of young men throwing bottles at each other for ten minutes as a riot. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty uh, pretty scary. I mean, there were some pretty you know, sharp bottles being thrown, and uh, some guy threw a big canister, and there was all kinds of stuff being chucked uh, at these people. So it was pretty uh, pretty insane. And the police, again, one one group of police were all the way down the street. Now this isn't a long street, maybe ten houses away. And then the other police, there was another band of them, several of them, that were sort of around a corner and down half a block. So the cops weren't far away from this, and they certainly knew that this was the street where all of the action was. And I guess somebody talked to one of the police. One of the activists here in the area actually went up to one of the cops and uh, at the end of the ones the ones uh, that were the end of the street he went up to these cops and he asked them you know if they were going to do anything about the bottle war that was going on down there and their answer was something to the expect uh, to the extent of we're containing it we're containing the situation <laughs> which was their I excuse I guess that's for, the first thing you do yeah that was their excuse for doing nothing about it and look, I don't think the police should be arresting people for underage drinking. I don't think the police should be harassing somebody for having an open container. But if there's actual violence going on, I don't have a problem with security agents going in to stop that violence. And yes, there were a lot of police out in the streets here in in, uh, in Keene. And there will continue to be throughout the night. Uh, cop blockers are going to be on the streets doing uh, various outreach and, of course, keeping an eye on the police and things like that. Uh, but, you know, if there's actual violence going on, it, it doesn't bother me if the police stop that from happening. And in this case, they did nothing. Absolutely nothing. So, there it was go. interesting. That's uh, that's my night thus uh, <laughs> thus far. If uh, you've got anything you want to share that's on your mind, feel free. Our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. I was also doing outreach uh, as well. And uh, the outreach that I was doing today was multiple uh, multiple facets. So I, I had uh, New Hampshire secession, or AKA declaring independence. So there's a great flyer from the New Hampshire, uh, the Foundation for New Hampshire Independence, which is always an interesting one to hand out, right? Because secession's this this buzzword. It's got the, it's this dirty word. It's got a dirty connotation to it. In the like, United States, yeah, in the U.S., like oh, they're just going to invade you if you secede, but. I think that uh, the Foundation for New Hampshire Independence is doing a great job because they've created an outreach flyer that doesn't use the word secession. That's what it's all about, but it's couched in the term of New Hampshire declaring independence. 
But once you read the flyer, you know, it's pretty clear what they're talking about. And it's interesting handing this out to New Hampshire natives or people that live in New Hampshire because, you know, the New Hampshire way of life here is kind of an independent place. It's a place where people come to and people are born and they just kind of raised a more independent mindset. You know, it's the whole live, live for, for your, your die. Yeah, the whole live for your die mentality. And uh, so they the way they respond to this is very interesting. Like the way I reach out to folks is I just ask them because you know, there's a lot of people here who are not from New Hampshire, people from Connecticut, New York, all over New England. People are coming to Pumpkin Fest. And so I pre-qualify everybody by asking, do you live in New Hampshire? And anybody that lives in New Hampshire, I just hand it, out, hand it to them and say, this is for you. And almost all of them will take it. Some of them will ask, what is it about? And of those people who ask what it's about, I'll just say something simple like, oh, it's about New Hampshire declaring independence. And almost always the, the reaction from someone here in New Hampshire is, oh, yeah, or till their eyes will get real big and they'll say, yeah. And then there's a real positive response, which is really, to me, just it warms my heart because – I love the idea of uh, of secession, and I've always wondered what New Hampshire people's opinions would be about this. Because in the United States, one out of four, on average, is already in favor. About 25%, just under 25% of people in the U.S. Is in favor. Are in favor of their state seceding. Now, um, and we saw this kind of rash, I think it was uh, with the second Obama election, of uh, states you know, wanting, using whitehouse.gov or something, signing petitions or whatever for secession. And so it really became a Democrat-Republican issue very quickly. Uh, we saw that. Mm-hmm. And I don't think it should be. I mean, when you use terminology like home rule, why in the world? I mean, Democrats aren't against uh, you know localization of government. They aren't against people being able to make rules for themselves locally. Mm. Um, so I think it's a, I think it's sad that in that in the course of that that it uh, kind of got polarized. You know, what do you care if you're in some other state? What do you care if Texas secedes? What business is it of yours? No, I mean when the uh, the whole Texas secession thing was coming up after the Obama reelection in 2012. Uh, there was, I remember there was like a lefty opinion piece that was like, let them go. Yeah. I mean, who cares? Uh, so it's nice to see people on both sides of the political equation supporting secession, but it's also fascinating to What's me. What's the value to you of secession? Of, uh, of leaving the United States? Just generally, yeah. Yeah, I think the value is an immediate increase in this quality of life, an immediate increase in the wealth that everybody will be able to keep and, and put to use. Some states that wouldn't be true. I mean, some states are— No, it would be true in every state because uh, everyone pays income tax. So you wouldn't be paying income tax. Well, not everybody, Just but a lot of people. Just about every state pays, has, income, has an income tax. No, I'm talking about the federal income tax. I understand. So, you know, the average family of four a, a decade ago—I haven't done the you know, research the numbers recently— but a decade ago, the average family of four, you know, if they didn't have to pay income tax, they'd have another ten thousand dollars. I mean, that's a huge boost to somebody's home-based business, or you know, being able to send a kid to college, or whatever that you're wouldn't, saving money wouldn't for. Wouldn't these same people lose whatever Social Security they'd paid in? You're probably not going to have Social Security anyway. So, really, is that the reason why you want the federal government to be around? Is for Social Security? The toll-free number is eight fifty-five four fifty free. You can take control of the airwaves here. Bring up whatever's on your mind, whether it's secession or whatever you want. This is the Live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust who will never betray you or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. 
Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. Six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! On your knees! Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidati. DVD available now at gunsandweed.com or on Amazon. That's gunsandweed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's gunsandweed.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from shinybadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at shinybadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. You can put the Liberty Radio Network on the air in your area. Visit broadcast.lrn.fm to learn how. Broadcast.lrn.fm This is Free Talk Live. You can dial on in here toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Whether you want to talk about secession or whatever happens to be on your mind tonight, there was actually a sort of a related story, Mark, that you had about people leaving their state. Uh, You know, like, what would it take to get you to just say, I've had it, and pack it up, sell the house, get rid of the business, or move the business, and whatever, get yourself and your family out of where you currently live. Right. You can have, um, like freedom means different things to different people. And you can have the sort of human freedom that you want to have um, simply by sort of moving around the continental United States. If you're listening to us in the United States, lots of people listen around the world. But, um, you know, there are different regions that you can move to to find more freedom, however you define that freedom. But the acquisition costs are high. Uh, you have to sell a house. You know, perhaps uh, you know, sell off some furnish- furnishings, things like that. Usually, people aren't willing to pick up and move across the country for uh, for very many things: jobs, uh, loved ones. That's all I can think of usually. You know what could help you, um, you know, be more independent? Of course, is Bitcoin, and one of the ways to acquire Bitcoin is to earn Bitcoin. And you can do that by going to BitcoinBountyHunter.com. One of the bounties there right now is 38 Bitcoin. And that's a lot of money. They're around $400 per Bitcoin today. You can place your own bounty. You can even add to the ones there. Just use your investigative skills and you can collect the bounty. The authorities aren't going to be solving these cases. It can be done by people like you. 
people who profit from your work and skill. Go check out BitcoinBountyHunter.com as we go to Brian listening in Virginia to WAI, not WAIS. Brian, where are you at? You're, uh, what are you listening to tonight? WNIS. WNIS is what I thought. Go Hampton ahead, sir. Rose. But you guys were talking about states succeeding from the United States before. Yeah. And honestly, I think it would be a great idea if whatever state did it, and I would move to that state. And the reason I would is because instead of paying into, say, a federal government or this, that, or whatever, you pay into the state that you want to live in. So that yeah. state then becomes richer. That state then can have a state vote, like we say vote for president or vote for this, that, or whatever. We just vote for whatever we need in that state. The state will become richer. The Absolutely. people will be happier. Everything will be more taken care of. And honestly, if you look at Texas right now as a whole, Texas is actually becoming a more profitable, richer state in the United States versus some other state. Yeah, I, the they biggest were, problem I have with, with Texas is their incarceration rate. I mean, they seem to they seem to think imprisonment is yeah. a really good solution to problems. But yes, I agree with you. Uh, there's there's no doubt the numbers don't lie when it comes to Texas. I mean, honestly, I don't know why people aren't gathering. I don't know why our government isn't gathering people from Texas and going, hey, what are you doing to make your state more profitable? What is something that we could do to maybe do to the United States to maybe make it more profitable? What are some ideas? You well, know? the uh, people in Washington, D.C., of course, don't care about you making any money. They are only interested in their own friends uh, making money and punishing their enemies. So nothing I don't think is ever going to change for the better at the Washington, D.C. level, which is why I think a state declaring independence is such a desirable thing. Now, look, this is seems really pie in the sky. It does. I understand that. Uh, but I think that the more we can talk about this, the more real it can become. People love their states that they live in. Some people are really hardcore about Texas. People are really hardcore about Virginia. You got people that say, oh, there's no better state than California, you know? I mean, absolutely. I heard a lot of that tonight on the streets uh, here in Keene, people saying that they they love New Hampshire. And nobody I mean, exactly. was so, nobody that I handed people, this flyer to was really in any way against it. I mean, yes, some people returned it to me, but nobody spoke out against it. Nobody said that's a terrible idea when they found out what it was. They were just genuinely they, interested in it. I would be all for if a state wanted to do it. I mean, and if people wanted to move from that state, they could. If they didn't want to move from that state because they love their state and they want to, you know, make their state profitable and be able to set up a system where they can make themselves happy, I think that would be a great idea. Brian, First, what would it take? That I had, what would it take to get you to leave Virginia? I don't care about where you would go, but what would it, you know, what what would push you over the edge to where you just couldn't stand living there anymore? You know, I think the Commonwealth of Virginia is getting a little greedy nowadays. And honestly, you know, I really wish that Virginia would hurry up with, like, a lot of their projects that they have. It seems like Virginia has been under construction for <laughs> damn Guess near what, every single day that I've been here. happens everywhere. Know? Thanks for the call tonight, <laughs> well, yeah, man. It, I appreciate it, Brian. Thank you, dude. 855-450-FREE. That is the Pro XPN toll-free line. It seems to me um, – now, I'm – I don't think secession is a likely outcome here from uh, in the United States. I think it's just, you know, when you're talking about Catalonia, when you're talking about Scotland, these are much more likely occurrences. Scotland also, was close. I also don't think that 50% of people should make a decision for the other 50% as mm. to whether or not they should, uh, you know, whose government they're going to have. That seems wrong to me. What but I do that's think— That's what they're making right now is 50% people are making, you know, those totals are, are what's making decisions in that that's who's getting elected. So I, I don't that's disagree. the system as it is. I, I mean, don't disagree with that. Yeah. I just think that you—I honestly believe people should be able to secede themselves. Sure. But really what I think that— uh, I don't think the federal government, Mark, would have a problem. Let's say you didn't want to secede. I don't think the federal government would have a problem continuing to take checks from you. No, you I don't think that they would. Some, yeah, <laughs> I don't think they would. Um, but, but I think that's I think that's interesting. What I think is a more practical application is nullification. States like, oh, well, I don't know, Washington and Colorado telling the government, no, nah, you know, we're going to make our own rules on marijuana and we're going to yeah. have a, a legalized marijuana. I think that's really powerful. But I, I honestly can't imagine, besides giving up Social Security. What people like just Social Security? There's like Medicare, Medicaid. If you paid in, there's the a system, lot of people on those programs. And well, there's that's a lot one of the tough parts. About those people could meet, could leave the state if if that's what they, they wanted sure to could. do. But do you see how if I'm say I'm 50 and I've paid in for I don't know 
30 years mm. into Social Security. You've now, stopped paying Social Security, though. Correct? Yeah, I don't pay Social Security. Right. Um, I, don't, I don't see any point in Got it. it. I'm not interested in their bad investments. So presuming you did pay Social Security for 30 years. Yeah, okay. if I did, then maybe I'd want to chase after, you know, throw throw good money after bad and, um, you know, go on after that investment. But I can see why people might choose to do that. And do I don't think they should have to move to collect. Does you know the government I mean. require you to live in the United States to collect Social Security? I don't know. But I don't I, know either. I, I, I doubt you. I, I think they should have to come up with some kind of system. And this is what I would think is if, if a state seceded, the, the people in it should be allowed to continue on in those programs if that's what they wanted to do. Well, I don't think the state could prevent that from happening. I mean, the obviously the federal government wants to know where you are and what you're doing when you go travel around the world. The you know the IRS demands that foreign bank accounts that uh, that are opened by Americans are reported to them. So it's not like the federal government just loses track of people. They they're very interested in continuing to get income tax from you whenever you're abroad. So. If New Hampshire or Vermont or Texas were to secede, then the people that are living there who were paying into these government programs, I'm sure, could keep paying taxes. And then maybe that would make it so they could collect the Social Security. I, I don't really know what the rules are for Social Security, and I don't really care. Uh, it would seem like you would have to uh, give up your U.S. citizenship now that you mention it. But um, I think it could be difficult for people that did give up their U.S. Why citizenship. Why would you have to give up your citizenship? They would want you to stay a citizen. They would. We, yeah. But if you didn't want to have to pay in the income tax oh, yeah. or whatever. I thought we were talking about the people who wanted to collect Social Security or whatever. Right. Those people would not have to do anything, essentially, and probably would be able to travel into the United States um, if they wish to. But it's the people that, um, you know, did give up their citizenship in order to not have to pay into programs or whatever. Well, yeah, you obviously can't expect anything then, right? If you're going to if you're going to take the benefit of giving up paying income tax, then you shouldn't expect to have Social Security later. Take care of your damn self. 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can take control of the airwaves here on the live Saturday edition of Free Talk Live. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com and in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful. Powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here. And I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at FreeRoss.org. That's FreeRoss.org. 
Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click Get Notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Hi, I'm Derek J. To me, an activist's calling is to actively work to advance a cause. The cause for which I work is personal freedom. I believe my life is best when I engage in voluntary interactions and self-government. I reject the idea that anyone else has a higher claim to my life or my body than I do. I see people who call themselves the government as a threat to my personal freedom. I realize you may feel differently, but my relationship with the people who call themselves the government is completely involuntary. If Starbucks used some of its money to drop bombs, I wouldn't shop there. So why would I support the American empire? The empire does not require my consent. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. That's VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. You can connect with the Liberty Radio Network via our Facebook page at Facebook.LRN.FM. That's Facebook.LRN.FM. Free Talk Live. We're here live on Saturday night. You can take control. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. We've been on secession thus far tonight, and just sort of a different question that's not really about secession. It's just about voting with your feet. What would it take to get you to say you've had it with where you live? Are you on the fence about that right now? Are they already pushing you? What is it going to take? What will be the straw that breaks the camel's back in uh, in your case? If you want to share that, you're welcome to do so at 855-450-FREE. That's toll-free, 855-450-3733. It's brought to you by ProXPN. That is a global virtual private network that encrypts your online data, protecting you from your internet service provider who's probably snooping on where you're visiting online and also the search terms that you're entering. They're probably logging all that information for, in some cases, as long as five years. So with ProXPN, you are protected. You can go grab their app for free at proxpn.com slash FTL. They have it for Windows, Macintosh, iOS devices, Android devices. Even Linux users can get started with ProXPN as well. It's relatively simple to do that. proxpn.com slash FTL. Use our discount codes when you're ready to upgrade to the premium package. You can use code FTL50. That's FTL like Free Talk Live and 50, as in 50% off the annual account, which brings the price down to around $5 per month. Plus, you can save even more with code FTLBTC and then pay with Bitcoin. You'll get 62% off the price of the annual account there. So great deals on privacy that is priceless at proxpn.com slash FTL. That premium account gets you unlimited bandwidth. Servers around the world that you can access. You can privately torrent and get past regionally blocked websites. And ProXPN is not keeping records of your online habits at all. Plus, there's a risk-free seven-day money-back guarantee. It's proxpn.com slash FTL. Codes are FTL50 or FTLBTC. Let's go to your calls and thoughts. Pat is listening in Virginia Beach to WNIS. Hey, Pat, you're on the air. Hey, guys. Cool show. Welcome, Uh, sir. Fascinating thoughts. Thank you. So um, my question was, I wonder how areas around the world that previously had a big U.S. presence, like the big base in the Philippines, when when the U.S. pulled out of those areas, how did those areas fare? Like, um, have they been safe? Seemingly so. No one's invaded the Philippines that I'm aware of. I mean, the southern Philippines do have a problem with Al Qaeda, but um, I don't think Manila does. And and then they did their economy do well. Did their economies collapse? I imagine there's a loss of uh, certain revenue. I mean, when you're talking about that many people getting regular paychecks, uh, leaving the region and going elsewhere, I'd also like to know about crime rates too. Mm. Um, you know, U.S. service yeah. people aren't known for <laughs> their uh, you for know good be- behavior. <laughs> yeah, for good behavior in foreign lands. The I'm bars afraid. are probably hurting when uh, the military pulls out. I would guess. But honestly, I've never yeah, really yeah, studied that. It's an interesting question. Not that it's really, you know, to me, it doesn't matter. I think obviously the military shouldn't be anywhere uh, around the world. So, you know, anything that they're doing there is certainly not their obligation and uh, is putting people in harm's way that otherwise wouldn't be. 
Well, it's a good point. I just wondered, I was a military officer, U.S. officer, and I had to retire, basically, because I didn't feel like we were upholding and defending the Constitution like we swear to do. And uh, the Constitution is a pretty good document. You know, it's got holes in it, granted, but uh, that's one, you know, uh, the only thing wrong with it, or the, we can say the U.S. has the worst government on Earth, except for all the others. (laughs) Uh, Well, you know... uh, (laughs) There's actually news this week that we didn't get into detail on Free Talk Live about the United States slipping down the list further. Uh, the economic freedom chart put out by the Fraser Institute, and I believe the Cato Institute as well now, uh, they're now down to number 12. I believe we were number 11 uh, last year, the United States, now it's number 17 12. 17 on the Fraser Institute's. Uh, oh, really? Um, I'm sorry. Uh, well, maybe it's Cato's teamed up with somebody else then. I'll, I'll have to go check. There's two different one. charts, and it keeps going down uh, both of the charts. Yeah, the United States isn't in the top five freest places economically on the planet. Now, I would like to say that I think that if you took a, if the United States government took a constructionist view of the Constitution that it would still be in the number one position as far as economic freedom. However, uh, sadly, the uh, the document itself has been unable to uh, stop the overreaches of government, which in an, in and of itself shows the limitations of a uh, of the document. I suppose so. Although it's also said that the people get the government they deserve, you know. Pat, yeah, thanks, yeah. thanks for yeah. your call, man. I, p- I appreciate hearing from you. The uh, The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That, that statement, people get the government they deserve. What do you think about that, Mark? I'm on the fence about it. I think that in the aggregate, it's true mm-hmm. that uh, you know that this is this is the government that Americans on the whole want. Americans on the whole are a bunch of ignoramuses. Uh, they have no qualification to be choosing their government. Um, you know, many of them can't find the country on a world map. <laughs> they don't know who the vice president is. They think that uh, you know that the right to own a pet is on the bill the Bill of Rights. Um, these people yeah. should are highly unqualified to be making voting decisions, in, case, um, in my opinion. So uh, do I think on the aggregate the people get the government they deserve? Yes. Yeah. But on the individual level, yes, the people that not true. do can place the United States on a map do know who the uh, the vice president is and uh, don't think that the right to own a pet is, on, is in the Bill of Rights. Those people... They don't get the government they deserve because right. of sort of the democratic system allows... You know, well, everybody who's not on life support to vote. Mark, that's why we need to get people who love liberty together in the same place. Because people who really understand what freedom means, that, you know, you should be free to live your life how you want, so long as you don't hurt anybody else, and that in order to be free, you have to allow others to be free. The people that understand that, there just aren't enough of them, and they're spread out too thin across uh, the entire country. So let's get them together. Move as many liberty-loving people as possible to the same place. That's what the Free State Project is all about. And uh, that's why we're here. You and I, Mark, are here in New Hampshire. We moved up from Florida. People are moving from all around the world. I saw a guy today who's here from Russia, as a matter of fact. Uh, so all around the world, people are coming to New Hampshire because they understand this is the place where freedom actually has a chance, where you can get together and get active with others who also care about freedom. And there's just nothing like that happening anywhere. Let's go to Sheila. She's in Los Angeles. You're on Free Talk Live, Sheila. Hi there. Hey, what's on your mind tonight? Hey, Hans Hermann Hoppe, the amazing author and lecturer with the Mises Institute, has a uh, uh, a YouTube where he outlines a particular strategy for the local level to um, facilitate secession, and really? it it just yeah, oh, it just makes so much sense. Can you give me and some I'm bullet points? Try- I mean, summarize it for an executive yeah. summary here. That's what I'm going to try and do is hit the bullet points. But basically, the first motion is to uh, you know bring about a, to convince an overwhelming you know or enough of a majority that only property holders and and taxpayers should be voting because anybody else who is just receiving, you know, um, the dole is just basically sucking other people's money. So Mm. they shouldn't have a vote because they're going to be voting themselves. But wouldn't you have to amend the Constitution in order to do that? Well, I, I'm going to try and hit the highlights, okay. and then Go maybe ahead. I can answer that. Sorry. But but if, if you brought that about, then, of course, the voting taxpayers, the, the ones who uh, are actually paying, are going to vote to repeal a lot of these public services and welfare and so forth, and it creates a uh, financial crisis. But in that 
sort of the wake of that financial crisis, and keep in mind, this is very, very local. This is just small towns, small municipalities. You know, you're not talking about tons of, you know, population in a particular small area. But uh, anyway, in that, you might say that that mini financial crisis, the solution is then to take an inventory of everything that is publicly owned. Again, it's going to be a short list, fire station, library. Oh, it's long as hell in Keene, New Hampshire. Keene, New Hampshire owns about a tenth of the entire acreage of Keene. They have all kinds of, you know, private buildings Uh that have been taken over the years and things like that. No, I'm, I'm hearing you. It does get out of control. But yeah. but the idea is to start at a sm- small, manageable level, right? Mm. But then when you make that list, then you uh, you reissue or that all of that is given to those, those same uh, people who are property owners. They paid for it. So it, it's uh, then divided up as stock, as shares of stock, which can be traded just like any stock mm-hmm. can be traded. Okay. The same people that were working in these capacities, uh, firemen and librarians and so forth, well, one day they're employed by the city. The next day, maybe they're employed um, by the newly appointed executive yeah. of that. That's interesting, uh, you know, Sheila. If you've got more to share, hang on. We can bring you back here in a moment. I think that's interesting. How to how to promote secession at a local level or to actually see it about. That's interesting. 855 450 free free talk live. Hey guys, if you're into fantasy football, you've got to check out FanDuel.com. At FanDuel, you play in one-week fantasy football leagues for real money with immediate cash payouts. You only play when you want, and you can change your team any week. FanDuel is paying out over $10 million every week this season. And right now, FanDuel is giving you up to $200 free. That's right. For every dollar you deposit, FanDuel will match it up to $200. Just go to FanDuel.com, click the microphone in the upper right corner, and enter code FOOTBALL70. F-A-N-D-U-E-L.com. Code FOOTBALL70. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done, get a great deal, and a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. Keenvention is coming up October 31st through November 2nd. Get your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keen, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, attend social events like the costume party. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, James Robin Hood Cleveland, Rich Paul, and Free State Project President Carla Garrick will be keynoting. And we'll have all kinds of panels, including the new Cop Block panel and the new Movers panel hosted by the outlaw Josie Wales. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or with Bitcoin. Reserve your tickets now at Keenvention.info. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. 
So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet, around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Why does a U.S. orthodontist make more than some CEOs? You get that dental bill and you'll know. Implants, partial or full bridge, the kids need braces? Fractions of U.S. prices. Balloon angioplasty for heart patients in the U.S. is $50,000. Thailand, under $7,000. Heart bypass, joint and hip replacement, cancer, many procedures under the price of your Obamacare deductible and copay. Don't risk bankruptcy. Hit us up now. We'll show you how at asiarunlikehellguide.com. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, live Saturday edition of the program. Take control of these airwaves. The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855 855- Four five zero three seven three three. You can join us online. Go and get interactive at freetalklive.com. You get to create the content there on the front page of the site. Submit whatever you want right there to the front page. And then it's a Reddit-based system. You can vote things up and or down depending on your preference. So go and get interactive over at freetalklive.com. As we go back to uh, Sheila, I believe it is, uh, listening in Los Angeles Sheila, you're back on Free Talk Live. You were giving us uh, what you said was a Hans Hermann Hoppe, who is a Mises Institute guy, uh, his idea on how to sort of distribute government property. You were talking about secession, but it sounds like you're talking about just abolishing this, the government even on a local level. Is that right? Actually, I nailed down the article here. It is uh, under a topic, or the title of the article exactly is, On the Impossibility of limited government and the prospects for a second American revolution. It's on Mises.org, and it is secession of individual towns, not states. Mm. How to how to have individual towns? You could call it the Free City Project, and uh, that it, where I was bullet pointing it out was, you know, um, by the vote being given only to the actual property owners, those are the ones who are paying the property taxes, then they're the ones who literally have paid for the library and the fire. So just to recap real quick, you were talking about having property owners vote and then having the city's property divvied up uh, amongst the property owners, and the property owners would essentially be given shares to that. So I've got a couple questions, and I know there may have been more points, but I I just can't let it go on without asking some questions at this point. So uh, with the whole property owners voting thing, you would have to amend the state constitution in order to do that. So that's a pretty significant level of uh, political activity that's required to accomplish that. If you can amend the state constitution, you could also just go ahead and secede from the United States at that point, right? Well, again, we're uh, talking about uh, on the town level, but right. I think that is ultimately where it's going. And I, I know you wanted to ask questions, but I really wanted to wrap up sort of the ultimate point of this, okay. which was once you've privatized all of the property in the hands of the property – or oh, sorry, privatized all the public property into the hands of the private property owners, then you, you have this phenomenon of people actually selecting their leaders, selecting their elites. And so uh, if you had the opportunity to have Steve Jobs run your you know fire department or your library system or so forth, he'd probably do a lot better job of it. And sure. Now, I think it's an interesting proposal that you make. I don't, think it's a, I don't think it's a bad idea, but it seems – seems like it could be difficult to administrate that. Like, you know, isn't there a lot of bureaucracy involved in having to divvy up all of that property and then somehow give it out to all of the property owners? Wouldn't that in its in its own way be sort of an increase in government? I think if the government did it, it would be extremely bureaucratic and complex. Mm-hmm. But um, as far as having stock and issuing stock, I mean, that's routine public, publicly um, owned property, meaning uh, stock traded companies, mm. not government owned companies, do it every day. And issuing stock and uh, having stockholders vote and so forth. And the people who didn't want to participate, they could would sell their stock. Sell their- 
Yeah. yeah. That's a yeah. good point. And they could just buy the service. <laughs> now, the Tannehills, uh, Morris and Linda Tannehill, I think, uh, wrote this uh, book called The Market for Liberty, which is uh, also talking about how to divest the monopolistic state of its uh, properties. They suggested homesteading, where essentially just people walk out and uh, the, the, the property itself was homesteaded. I found this to be scary mm. and uh, inefficient. Well, what do you think about Sheila's proposal? I think that it makes more sense if it could be implemented. I think it is, however, highly un implementable and that's why they, they use the term the impossibility sheila did you have any other points you wanted to throw out there for this well i would like to have other uh, people listening to go and look at the actual um, either the actual article or listen to hans herman hoppe discussing it on youtube because the impossibility in the title is the impossibility of limited government meaning mm -hmm. that we're never going to have no. a limited government but his he ends up uh, the lecture with the prospects for a second American revolution and lays this strategy out. A and second American Le revolution, there. that sounds violent. Is that is that going to be violent in his view? Oh, no, he's not. Uh, no, he oh, is thank a goodness. straight up anarchist, absolutely. Yeah, so, I don't support but, violence, uh, so that's good to know that that's, that's not what's going on there. So, Sheila, you're in Los Angeles. I mean, it's pretty unlikely that's going to happen uh, there anytime soon, right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't classify Los Angeles as a small municipality or town yeah. where something like this could take place. But, uh, but the point I wanted to make a moment ago was if, uh, if I may have not been done justice to the first step of the program, uh, there may be uh, you know an even uh, you know, more gradient step-by-step uh, -step approach to getting to the point where you would have the vote um, changed to so that only property owners were, were – um, uh, you would have, have a huge a uh, process to get to that point because it would be heavily opposed uh, by people. That's, to me, the most pie-in-the-sky aspect of lots this. Of, um, lots of property owners work for the state, uh, teachers and firefighters and true. cops. And you know those people's unions are going to see this coming a mile away. Sheila, <laughs> thanks for the call tonight. I do appreciate hearing from you. That's just what seems to be the most unrealistic part about that proposal. I mean, if you could get— I'm not against a, it. I mean, but, but, you know, what we talk—we talk about uh, unrealistic things on this show yeah. all the time. Um, I don't yeah. have a—you know, I don't can have you a imagine, problem I mean, with that. Can you imagine the, uh, the outrage that would be heard? If someone was actually proposing politically to divest people of their vote, to remove voting from yeah, the majority of the populace, it's completely impractical. Like that's when when I sit here on the air and I say that you know, look, there's about a quarter of Americans that can't place the United States on a map. Um, you know, about the same number don't know what the 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 uh, vice president is. Uh, about the same number yeah. believe that the Bill of Rights cover the uh, inclusion of a pet. Um, yeah, the, you the right to own a pet. Yeah. Those numbers, like really, there is about a quarter of Americans that believe that. I don't believe those people are qualified to vote. But let's not forget that many people self-select out of the vote. Um, mm -hmm. You know, they most choose, people don't vote. Yeah. Well, even on, even when you're talking about the the big elections where they're voting for president, where of course their vote matters mm -hmm. the least, you're still talking about something like fifty percent of the population voting. Um, but in recent most elections. of them don't vote for the winner. Because uh, half uh, of them don't. most, yeah, right. I mean, if only about half of Americans vote in a big popular election, and of those, only half of them vote for the winner. So the the uh, president's always chosen by a minority of people in the yeah. United States. Democracy has a lot of uh, momentum. I mean, you know, republics and democracies have existed for thousands of years. Yeah, I think. But it, to think for for people sitting out there right now on their high horse, thinking we're talking about crazy stuff, consider for a second that we probably have not reached the pinnacle of. Of governance in human history like we aren't the smartest people that are ever going to live that people in the future will figure out a system that is superior to our own the united states constitution will go away i would contend that in fact it has gone away that you know m many americans just haven't figured that out yet so our toll-free number is 855-450 free buddy is listening to wnis in virginia hey buddy hey how you doing friend what's on your mind tonight well, you know, I was just thinking about it. I haven't been following it closely as I should, but I was just uh, trying to get some input. Maybe what you guys think the best way is to uh, stay on top of some of this Ebola uh, thing coming out. What, do you, what is your thoughts on that? I mean, what, what can we do as the public uh, to protect ourselves in those areas? Wash your hands. Uh, don't come in contact with bodily <laughs> fluids. Um. I hear you. I hear you. But, you know, it seems to me that, uh, you know, we were talking earlier when I was getting on the line. It seems like, you know, uh, that uh, that's just kind of double standard stuff. You know, it seems like they, they, they approach it one way, and then once things start getting implemented, it's like, oh, he said, she said, and next thing you know, we got a big problem. 
and I really don't know the best way to to, to handle that. You know, uh, then it sounds like something I was I was just passing the news the other day. It sounded like he appointed some czar or something over the Ebola stuff, and I, I was just trying to get brought up to date on some of that and what some of your thoughts on that's the best way. You know, uh, to handle that. It's it's such a uh, a big net you got to throw over something like that. So I have to get some input. more and less favorite government uh, agencies out there. The Center for Disease Control fits into the top 25 percent of favorite government agencies for me. But right. now when I say a favorite government agency, what I'm talking about is like my favorite stinging insect, my favorite venomous snake, my favorite form of oh, cancer. These people are I'm sorry when you when you're talking about an organization, I shouldn't say these people. When you're talking about organizations put together like this, the incentive Incentives are for inefficiency, and there's yeah. nobody in that White House that can, you know, make a government agency, uh, uh, you know, um, to work properly. It's it, they're they're just not that way. You could take Steve Jobs. You could have taken Mitt Romney, who was a reasonably successful right. businessman. None of those guys would make government function efficiently because government can't function efficiently. Its incentives are I all agree. screwed up. Buddy, thanks for the call, that. man. I do appreciate it. Let's go to Ed listening in Yakima. You're on Free Talk Live. Hey, Ed, listening to KUSA. Hey, how you doing? What's on your mind, uh, Ed? Go. You asked you ask the question, what would it take to get you to leave your state, leave your home state? And I, yeah. You know, we, we've got some issues on our ballot out here this year after, uh, I mean, all our legislature could come up with the vote on this year. Of course, we're... More taxes for an education system that just doesn't work. I know it's bad everywhere, but what would it take, Ed? Well, the other issue is uh, gun control measures. Yeah, gun control. I got you. Thanks for the call tonight, brother. More coming up here in moments. This is Free Talk Live, hour number two on the way. Hi, Chuck Woldery here. I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I don't like those patches either. But I have found something that works, Australian Dream Arthritis Pain Relief Cream. It's a great product. It doesn't smell or burn, isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee. You can use the whole jar, and if you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt you'll send it back. This stuff really works. Australian Dream is now available at Target or your favorite retail store. Nothing compares to a good cup of coffee. But if you're getting your coffee from the store, you're likely not getting a good cup of coffee. Free Talk Live's teamed up with BuzzBox to bring you a free pound of the best of the best coffee, shade-grown, organic, top 1% grade Arabica. But what's different is that for every 10 people that get coffee through our link, coffee.freetalklive.com, we can give another micro loan through Kiva. When the loan's paid, we lend the money again. Help others, one cup at a time, coffee.freetalklive.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done. Get a great deal. And a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, October 18th, 2014. Silver is trading at $17.28 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,238 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $381. 
Antiwar.com reports top Israeli officials, as they tend to be every couple of months, were inconsolably outraged at Secretary of State John Kerry after Kerry said he believes that the unresolved Israeli-Palestinian peace process is a cause of recruitment for the Islamic State. Economic Minister Naftali Bennett led the official show of outrage, claiming Kerry was engaging in anti-Semitism for the comments, declaring someone will always blame the Jew. Bennett went on to claim Kerry's comments were aiding global terrorism. Other Israeli officials insisted the comments were unacceptable, largely officials who were opposed to the peace process and who were condemning Kerry for pushing it even before the Islamic State comments. The State Department tried to downplay the row, saying that they assume Israelis were given false information about what Kerry actually said and that Bennett was distorting his comments for political gains. In the spirit of Motorhome Diaries and Liberty on Tour, I intend to take the message of peace, love, and liberty on the road. To find out more about the tour or to donate, visit tour.fppradio.com. That's T-O-U-R dot F-P-P-Radio.com. The Associated Press reports same-sex marriage became legal in Arizona on Friday, a sharp turn for a state that became a battleground in the clash over gay rights less than a year ago when the state legislature passed a bill allowing businesses to deny services to gays and lesbians. Same-sex couples lined up to marry at the courthouse in downtown Phoenix immediately after Attorney General Tom Horn announced that the state would not challenge a federal court decision that cleared the way for same-sex unions in the state. The decision bookends two weeks of non-stop court rulings across the nation, with judges striking down bans on same-sex unions and conservative state officials pushing back in a struggle that has increasingly gone in favor of same-sex marriage supporters. Since October 6th, when the U.S. Supreme Court let stand rulings that struck down same-sex marriage bans, same-sex couples have begun to wed in several new states. In the West, for example, couples have since tied the knot in Alaska, Arizona, Idaho, and Nevada, making Montana the lone state under the jurisdiction of the Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, where same-sex couples cannot legally wed. The federal government, meanwhile, announced on Friday that it will recognize same-sex marriage in seven new states and extend federal benefits to those couples, which brings the total number of states where same-sex unions have federal recognition to 26 plus the District of Columbia. Based on the flurry of recent court decisions, including separate decisions Friday that apply to Arizona and Alaska, more than 30 states now extend marriage rights to same-sex couples. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. Reuters reports Hong Kong pro-democracy activists recaptured parts of a core protest zone early on Saturday, defying riot police who had tried to disperse them with pepper spray and baton charges. About a thousand protesters, some wearing protective goggles and helmets, helped to build fresh barricades from wooden fencing and other materials in the gritty, densely populated Mong Kok district. Some chanted black police after the police used small metal batons to strike umbrellas belonging to the demonstrators. Demonstrators chanting open the road tried late on Friday to break through multiple police lines using umbrellas as a shield from pepper spray at a major traffic intersection. 26 people were arrested and 15 officers were injured. The protesters are demanding free elections for their leader in 2017, but China insists on screening candidates first and Hong Kong's leader reiterated that the government would not compromise. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com.
Thousands took to the streets to protest the NYPD's Stop and Kiss program. New Yorkers who've been stopped often say the encounters feel extremely intrusive. Going through my pockets, throwing my stuff on the ground, kissing me on my neck and face. They push me up against the wall and start nibbling on my ear. Joining us now is legal analyst Susan Hughes and Mark Brennan, a former police officer who has defended the Stop and Kiss program. Look, it's one thing to kiss someone who you think might commit a crime, but these officers are just kissing people left and right with no probable cause. Look, if you've got nothing to hide, then it's not a problem. They just stop, ask where you're going, give you a gentle kiss or two, and let you go. Mark, there have been examples, public examples, where these procedures have just gone too far. Let's take a look at a disturbing cell phone video that's been making the rounds on the internet. Stop, put your hands on your head. Oh, come on, man, they just kissed me two blocks ago. Come on, man, I didn't do Shut anything. Shut the f up and let me kiss you. Look, the cops can either kiss people now before there's violence, or they can be kissing a bunch of dead bodies at a crime scene. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Saturday edition of the program with you tonight. Ian here. And Mark. Oh, Mark, you are with me as well. Uh, welcome. We're doing a show sort of live from Pumpkin Fest, uh, but not really. We're not actually out at Pumpkin Fest, which is a an internationally known festival happening here in our very own Keene, New Hampshire. The streets are packed full of people right now. I, I think they're going through whatever that lighting process is that they have with the pumpkins. I've never actually... Where they light 30,000 jack-o'-lanterns. Yeah, I've never actually seen that uh, that happen because we're always here doing the show. So <laughs> I don't know what that part's uh, like, but we do... It's uh, quite a trick, I'm sure. You and I are we're out there today uh, walking around. You had the family with you, and apparently there were some riots uh, that happened in the college neighborhood. For those that don't know, I didn't notice anything. You're new to the show. Uh, Keene is a college town. There's like 25,000 people that live here. Probably another 70,000 or something coming into Keene throughout the day today for the Pumpkin Fest. And thousands of those 70,000 are college students uh, from other colleges. So the Keene State College probably is around four to 5,000, maybe 6,000 max students on their campus. You add to that. Thousands more. They probably more than double that. I bet you there's 12,000 college students here right now. If you go down in the college neighborhood, there's uh, kids everywhere, and cop blockers are out as we speak here. We were talking earlier about the Free State Project, uh, which is the idea of moving liberty-loving people to New Hampshire to get active for freedom. We live in a place where there are enough freedom-loving people who are active, willing to do things, that there are enough people to be out there all night and all day handing out flyers to people and, you know, helping protect folks from police maybe going a little bit too overboard. Uh, I like police accountability activist. Yeah. I, I just prefer that term. That's a nice thing to say, Mark. Uh, maybe you should start your own group. Uh, but Cop Block has done a really good job. I, I get the critiques about the Cop Block name. I really do. It's just the name. I do understand. I do understand that. However, uh, it's here. Cop Block is here. It's yep. very, very popular. Cop Block has been a success. Maybe your police accountability watchers or whatever, if you had started that group, Mark, maybe that would have been a success. Maybe it still could be a success. But uh, the Cop Block Facebook page right now is over a million likes, which puts it above and uh, beyond many police related pages, like police worshiping kind of pages. So Cop Block, for better or for worse, as far as the name is concerned, they've done an amazing job at holding the police more accountable all across the country. Oh, yeah. And the founders of Cop Block have lived here in Keene, New Hampshire. They launched it on this show, I mean, pretty much. This is, is that where true? They, uh, this is where they got the you know the, the, the main announcements for Cop, Cop Block started. Well, I know that we were an early on sponsor of Cop Block when they were doing their uh, police accountability tours around the country. Mm -hmm. They had a free talk live advertising on uh, their MARV, this mobile authority resistance vehicle. So we do have a long history of uh, being Cop Block supporters. And, you know, I like the I like the name of the Peaceful Streets Project, too, which is sort of the competitor out there yeah, to name. cop block but unfortunately when you go and you look up the peaceful streets project you find videos of the founder of the peaceful streets project walking around the streets and yelling at the police and not acting in a very peaceful manner so you know there's no perfect organization out there and as these organizations become larger they become more difficult to control and in effect in the cop block and why case, should they Right? Why I mean, it's, they... de it's decentralized. Why should it be controlled? Well, that's just it. That's what we're going to point out. In Cop Block's case, while they do have founders of Cop Block, and there are certain people who have access to post to the main copblock.org website, 
uh, ultimately, the organization is decentralized. There's nothing that could stop you from going out on the streets and claiming that you're with Cop Block. And as, I think if you understand that as somebody who creates an organization and you embrace that, then I think that's a good thing. Because otherwise, you'll go crazy trying to control everybody, trying to make sure, oh, you've got to stay on message. You can't say this, you know, that kind of thing. Now, one thing they can do with copblock.org is they accept submissions. So anybody who's got a police... Uh, accountability story or some bad cops or even good cops uh, sort of stories, you can go and submit those over at copblock.org. And obviously they have an editorial team who reviews those. So not you don't just get to hit the submit button and have your story show up on the front page of the site. There is a review process there. But it's a very decentralized group, and I, I really uh, support them. Our toll-free number here is 855-450-FREE. So the cop blockers here in Keene will be out on the streets all night tonight giving out Know Your Rights information, informing people about their rights. Earlier today, I was informing people about the idea of New Hampshire declaring independence and also did some Bitcoin flyering, which was uh, fun. You know, Bitcoin outreach is a little bit different because it takes a little longer like, if I just have this New Hampshire outreach flyer, I can just hand out hand that to anybody that says they live in New Hampshire. But with Bitcoin, you know, people don't know what that is. They, uh, they don't understand it, and they want to know a little bit about it. So we have to explain to them real briefly, like, oh, well, this is uh, it's a currency not issued by any government or bank. You can send money to anyone anywhere in the world for next to nothing. And you know, list off Dell Computers and Wikipedia as sort of big names that accept it. And then I point out the local businesses uh, in town that, Overstock. that accept Com. it. I mean, the, the list of large companies that are accepting Wikipedia, or excuse me, uh, accepting Bitcoin is going up every oh, single yeah. month, it and, seems. And those companies are important, no doubt. But when you're on the streets in a, in a town, you want to let those people also know that they can go into the corner news store and buy a pack of cigarettes or a newspaper with Bitcoin, yep. or they can go to the hair salon uh, down the street and actually pay with Bitcoin there. So let's go to Alan. He's in our very own Keene, New Hampshire, listening to WKBK. Hello, Alan. You're on Free Talk Live. How are you guys? Hey, hey welcome, um, sir. Go I'm ahead. Curious, I'm curious to know what your what your um, take was on the meetings before the uh, New Hampshire Supreme Court this week. Uh, you mean specifically the Robin Hood case, or are you referring to other cases? Yes. No, the Robin Hood case that you guys are involved in. So, yeah, I am one of the uh, the folks who is the, the, a defendant in uh, the Robin Hood case. For our listeners who don't know, Alan, how would you describe Robin Hooding? Robin Hooding, um, the act, activity here is uh, going going around and putting money in meters to prevent the city from um, issuing issuing traffic tickets for parking violations. Yeah, and it was very successful and still is successful in that uh, thousands of tickets have been prevented from being written. City government didn't like that very much. They filed two lawsuits against the um, some of the Robin Hooders. They couldn't identify all of us, but they fi filed against six of us. And that went to the Supreme Court this week. They're trying to get a, a, buff a buffer zone created, which is like a constitution-free zone uh, that floats around the parking enforcer as they walk about. That zone had uh, originally been proposed at 50 feet, went down to 30 feet, and then was 15 feet fine. They also want yeah. um, money as well out of the Robin Hooders as, as you know some sort of compensation for their lost revenue and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. So I thought it went pretty well. Did you see the video? You can watch the full uh, unedited unedited court hearing. It's about a half hour long. That video is up at freekeen.com. Have you seen it, Alan? Uh, no, but I'll take a look at it. I've been, I've been, I've been trying to follow it. I've been watching it in a couple of different newspapers. The nice That's thing about the a, a Supreme Court hearing, you know, a, a typical trial can last days, but a Supreme Court hearing only takes thirty minutes. So if you're short on time, you know, and and you just want to see something that's court related, but something you can digest in one sitting. Supreme Court is actually pretty interesting because, you know, you basically have five judges in New Hampshire who uh, they've, you know, they've read the case, they're familiar with the case. The attorneys who present, they know the judges already know the case. So they're just basically there to take questions. They do have a presentation they make, but I mean, almost immediately on uh, the Robin Hood attorney, the, the justices jumped in with with really tough questions. And so it's it's kind of interesting because it's very, it seems very conflict oriented. They're asking really hard questions of both attorneys uh, in this case. And actually, this case was unusual because usually it's just two attorneys that present, but the city attorneys gave us, split some of their time away for the New Hampshire, New Hampshire Municipal Association. Their attorney came and also spoke as well. So they actually split up their 15 minutes, which kind of was an unusual thing to, uh, to see happen. Well, I, I, think, I think that's because the city attorney is pretty weak. 
<laughs> well, there's actually a conspiracy theory uh, that the attorney that they've hired, that the city has hired, this private attorney, uh, this guy, that he is his job is to fail. That ultimately they don't want to win this case because if they win, if the city wins this case, then that would make it so they could be held liable for some sort of employee uh, lawsuit, like the employees, the the parking enforcers want to sue to uh, sue the city. I didn't realize that that was an aspect of it. That's that's interesting. Yeah, because they well, don't want to be held liable for protecting their uh, their employees out in the streets, which is why in the uh, the parking enforcer handbook that actually says that they're supposed to endure verbal and mental abuse. It's like the first page. Yeah, it's it's pretty <laughs> obvious. Alan, it's check funny. it out when you get a chance, man. If you would. Thanks. Hey, thank you for the call. It's freekeen.com. You can go there. You can watch the full Robin Hood hearing. It happened on Wednesday, so you may have to scroll back a few days at this point because, well, freekeen.com is a really busy site. There's always kind of interesting stuff happening here. More coming up. You can take control of the airwaves. We were also talking about secession and asked the question what would it take to get you to physically leave the state where you live? 855 450 free. Is the Federal Reserve System a bunch of organized crooks? Ron Paul, G. Edward Griffin, Edwin Vieira, and Ted Baer discuss the Fed in the Telly award-winning movie, Fiat Empire, why the Federal Reserve violates the U.S. Constitution. Inspired by the best-selling book, The Creature from Jekyll Island, Fiat Empire is now available as a two-DVD set at moviepubs.net, realityzone.com, and newswithviews.com. Gabino lives in Palcapata, Peru. He buys old appliances like irons, radios, and TV sets, fixes them up, and resells them. He saw an opportunity to expand his business and needed a loan to buy more appliances. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan, and the expansion was a success. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time, get a free pound to try out the subscription, cancel anytime, coffee.freetalklive.com. Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today, October 15th, 2014, gold opened at 1246.90. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1292.55, 646.27 for a half ounce, or 323.14 for a quarter ounce. That's 1292.55, 646.27, and 323.14. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. Are you making sense to the boomer mindset? I'm Holland Cook from survivalspeech.com. 80 million baby boomers comprise 25% of the population and control most of the USA's wealth. As aging parents pass on, they'll control more. Boomers are 46 to 65 years old and regard themselves as midlife. They identify as neither young nor old. They're post minivan and pre retirement and they don't like being called boomers. They think me. Many of the purchases boomer couples make are individual purposes. They've been experimenters all their lives. If you want their attention, tell stories and keep it simple. If something seems complicated, boomers can dismiss it as, I don't need this. And if you're looking for work, you may be applying to a boomer, so relate accordingly. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Majid lives in Nor Devin, Armenia, with his wife, kids, and grandkids, all in the same house. They have cows, but to compete against the big ranchers, Majid needed to get a loan for more cattle. 
Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the cows. He bought them, and now he's very happy with the expansion of his farm. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference, one cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel at any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Help get LRN.FM into more ears. Visit promote.lrn.fm for a free bumper sticker, flyers, banners, graphics, and more. Promote.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Dial in toll-free and bring up whatever you want at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Been all over the place talking about secession. Uh, we've got cop block, Robin Hooding. This is the uh, the activists here in our uh, our area that actually save people from getting parking tickets. They made international headlines on that. So all kinds of different things. Plus, the Index of Economic Freedom. We touched on that in the first hour of the program. And, Mark, you were incorrect uh, the one that I was citing earlier saying that the U.S. is now ranked as 12th amongst 152 countries is actually published by the Fraser Institute. So maybe okay. you were confusing Fraser with the Heritage Foundation, yeah. which does the other uh, Economic Freedom Index, where you said the uh, the amount or the, uh, the the number was 17 on the other study. So we can talk we a little. A look. More. Yeah, we can talk a little bit more about that. Our toll-free number here is 855-450 free. We've got Skype. You can Skype in at username lrn.fm. And if you want to hook up with some gold and silver, these are excellent ways to protect yourself historically against inflation. You can go and get them now. And silver's at a great price. It's it's on sale. <laughs> you can go to uh, gold.freetalklive.com or silver.freetalklive.com and order from Midas Resources. That's the company that backs Free Talk Live and helps us get on over 160 radio stations from coast to coast. So when you order from Midas through gold.freetalklive.com, Free Talk Live is benefited by you doing that. Plus, you get some great deals on great gold and silver pieces. You can also call up Midas at 877-857-9938. That's toll-free, 877-857-9938, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. A new report of economic freedom around the world, according to Breitbart.com, finds the United States ranked 12th among 152 countries, tied with the United Kingdom and lower than neighbor Canada or Australia. The index published by the Cato Institute and Canada's Fraser Institute has been published since 1996. As recently as 2000, the U.S. ranked second in the world in terms of boasting a free economy. They're declining right, ranking. And that's really important to look at. This is not just where... Because when I was a kid, we were told the United States is the freest country on earth. And economic freedom doesn't say everything. Singapore, for instance, uh, you can't, it's one of the freest places on earth economically, but you can't chew gum. I don't know if that's still illegal in Singapore, but yeah, there's some crazy stuff. That's, Throw it on the ground, see if yeah. they don't beat you with a stick. Right, that's illegal in Singapore. But of course, there's all kinds of uh, not-so-social freedoms in the United States as well. Uh, but nonetheless, it's an interesting study that's been done for a long time. In fact, it's been built on decades of research by Nobel laureates and dozens of leading scholars. It measures five broad factors that impact the economy. One, size of government. Two, legal structure and security of property rights. Three, access to sound money. Four, freedom to trade internationally, and five, regulation of credit, labor, and business. Countries where citizens are freer to engage in business and trade and property and legal rights are protected by the rule of law will score higher on the index. According to economic research, though, these countries will also do better economically and create and generate more wealth. The 10 freest economies in the world are, number one, Mark. Uh, it's going to be Hong Kong. Hong Kong, as it has been ever since we've been talking about this. And we've been covering these Economic Freedom of the World indexes for years here on Free Talk Live, watching as the United States continues to slip downward. Hong Kong, constantly, solidly number one. Singapore has been number two also for a long time, and it again ranks at number two. Yeah, now, that's where oh, this is also true on the Heritage Foundation. By the way— You got that pulled up right yeah, now? Yeah, I have that pulled up okay. right now, and— Interestingly, I guess I'm just wrong on the, where the United States was because I had in my mind that they were 17th on one of these lists. Okay. Where is it on and Heritage? On the Heritage Foundation, it's number 12 also. Oh, so interesting. It's matching at they number 12. They didn't used to match. 
In previous years, they did not used to match. No, um, they did not. And the further you get away from number one, the differences start to show up on the lists as far as the other countries uh, go. I guess, you know, every, every report's different. The way they calculate their numbers are slightly different. But Hong Kong's number one on both. Singapore's number two on both. Those are yeah. rock solid. Uh, number three on the 2014 list here from Fraser Institute, New Zealand. Number three. Number five on the Heritage Foundation. Number four on the Fraser list, uh, Switzerland. Number four. Also number four. Yes. Okay. I don't know about this one. Is it Mauritius? Maurit- Mauritius? M- 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 Marit- I don't Mauritius? I don't know. That's what it's you know, sounding it out. Mauritius. Yeah, number eight. Okay, this one, uh, that is number five. United Arab Emirates in at number six. Make the top 28. ten. Twenty-eight. Okay. And Canada at number seven. Number six. Australia at number eight. Number three. Jordan at number nine. Not seeing Jordan. Chile at number ten. And Finland, both tied for tenth on the heritage list. Yeah, I'm, I can't scan through here fast enough to How find it. How does it, it. make you 19. feel? If you're in the United States, you know, if you are somewhere in the United States and you've always been told as you've been growing up or as an adult that this is the freest country in the world. I mean, it's pretty common to hear that in the United States in popular media and things like that. How does it make you feel to know that, by the way, the Fraser and Cato Institutes are U.S.-based groups. You know, they... They're here. So, you know, if they're going to have a bias, you'd think it'd be toward the United States. But no, they're saying here that in their study, which has been done year after year after year, the United States now below 10th place on the world economic freedom rankings. How does that make you feel? The toll free number is 855 450 free. Can you continue to claim that the United States is the freest country in the world when all of the metrics show otherwise? Um, I have a theory on this, and it isn't going to make Republicans very happy because I'm a Republican, registered, and have been a Republican my whole life. Um, I believe in the ideas of liberty, but that's the party that seems to fit for me uh, the most. Most Republicans, and I have said things like, you know, the only thing the Constitution authorizes is a military. This is a true statement. But you consider that the United States has slipped progressively down the economic freedom chart as its military adventures have gone on. Mm, Um, Yes, that's true. You know, the whole, uh, yeah, let's go out there and solve the world's problem, be the world's policemen and uh, fix these people by blowing stuff up and, you know, kill innocent people with uh, remote control airplanes and whatever other uh, ideas come out of this. Those, those are the things that have, that that's what's changed and that uh, is, in my opinion, mm. what has caused the United States to slip down the economic freedom chart. Let me back that up one bit more. Look who's gone up here. Switzerland, New Zealand, Canada, Australia, Singapore, Hong Kong. These places don't have much for militaries, generally, yeah. comparatively. Um, mm. They're not spending nearly as much money. Why? Because the United States Navy keeps the shipping lanes clear for the whole world. 300 million people, 300 million very rich people, comparatively, keep the shipping lanes clear clear for the globe but europe why why is europe getting basically a free ride um you know on the united states tax dollars back but we have to pay for that and it's beginning to show you can share your thoughts our toll-free number is 855-450-FREE you know we were asking earlier what would be the requirement for you? What would be the issue that would push you over the edge and make you decide to leave the state where you live? You know, move to another state, wherever. I don't really care where you're going to move to. But is there something that would push you over the edge? And, uh, of course, we were talking about secession earlier. Here are the United States ranking in at number 12 on both of the economic freedom indexes uh, for the entire world. Not something to be uh, proud of. Does that make you more likely to want to leave the entire United States as well? How do you feel about this idea? And could you possibly claim, knowing now that the United States is set at number 12 on these lists, could you still claim with a straight face that this is the freest country on earth? The toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. Take control of the airwaves here on Free Talk Live's live Saturday show. 
The experts at Web.com want to build your business a successful website for free, just like we did for these current Web.com customers. We've used and, and looked at other website designers, but there's nobody better than Web.com. Web.com can build your website in as little as seven days free. Plus, we'll promote it on all the major search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing. If after 30 days you're happy, we'll continue to provide promotion, hosting, support, and maintenance, all for one low monthly fee. If not, cancel and pay nothing. If you're in business today and you don't have a web presence, you won't be taken seriously. Call right now and you'll also get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by VeriSign, the world's leading domain name provider. Call 800-297-0154. That's 800-297-0154. No upfront charge for site build, after which ongoing fees apply. Rights to site are relinquished when canceled. Domain included during active service, after which fees apply. That's 800-297-0154. Free Talk Live. They believe, I think, that government can be good as long as you just elect the right people, which, of course, is nonsense. Government can never be good because it's an agency of coercive force. It doesn't matter who's running it. It doesn't matter what the goals of the organization are. As long as it's funded through coercion, as long as it's funded through threats of violence, then nothing it can do is ever moral or justified. They understand the system and they want to work inside it to change it. So, therefore, in order to have their hunger strike that they planned, which I thought was a great idea... They went to the government, and what they do? Get a per ask for a permit. They asked for a permit. <laughs> they asked for a permit. It was already over at that point, right? Whenever you ask permission from the government, you might as well expect them to say... No. No! You know what? It sounds like government has this non-cooperation thing down to a science. Yeah, right? Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at FFF at FFF.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's FFF at FFF.org. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. Are you drinking too much and it's destroying your life? If you're ready to quit drinking, we have a real solution for you that can help you quit drinking within hours. That's right. We can help you quit drinking within hours. It's not magic. It's medical science. At Sober Time, we'll show you how this simple 20-minute outpatient medical procedure will turn off your cravings within hours. Let's face it. If you don't crave a drink, you're not going to drink. And if you don't drink, you won't get drunk. The medication is FDA approved and covered by most major insurance plans. So if you're really ready to stop drinking and get your life back, call Sober Time now for a free consultation. Patients have nearly an 85% success rate. So here's the number. Call right now. 800-659-0267. This is the Liberty Radio Network, broadcasting the latest liberty-oriented audio content 24 hours a day at lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. Dial in here. Bring up whatever's on your mind at 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. You can join us online. Go to freetalklive.com and enjoy the features that are waiting for you. We're here live. It's the live Saturday show with you tonight. Ian here. And Mark. And join us online at freetalklive.com. So please, you get in touch with us in whatever way you want. We're talking about the United States slipping down the list of economic freedom. Now below 10th place at number 12. Your thoughts are certainly welcome here as we continue. You need to know about how to get a free pound of some of the best coffee out there. From BuzzBox. 
Yeah, just go to coffee.freetalklive.com and you can get a free pound of coffee. This isn't your average store-bought coffee by any stretch of the imagination. This is among the best tasting coffee that you're pro- likely to taste in your life. It's shade grown, 100% organic, top 1% grade Arabica beans. It's great coffee. And it's healthy for you too, by the way. Uh, organic certification among coffee, much more important, I would say, than organic certification with other foods when you consider that coffee is one of the most absorbing crops on the planet. It's grown in places where leaded gas is an outlawed, pesticides that uh, have been outlawed for decades in the United States may not be. Um, this is, you know, this can be very important to people. Buzzbox is competitively priced with other high-end coffees. You can try a free pound here, but what we do is that Buzzbox has a program where we're able to give some of the profits to uh, Kiva.org and give microloans around the world. We've helped lots of people so far in diverse places all over the planet to get things like uh, get a car fixed so they can drive their taxi, uh, get some buy some used appliances or uh, broken appliances so, so they can fix them and, and sell them in their community, uh, restaurant equipment and uh, sewing machines, things like that. It's been very, very uh, helpful. And this is the hand up that people in poor countries really need. This and when they repay this loan, we can give it to other people too. That's why I'm really excited about this program. Get a free pound of this delicious coffee by signing up for the subscription at coffee.freetalklive.com. You can cancel any time. You get your free pound, you don't like it, fine. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Toll free number 855 450 free. Going through a brief story here from Breitbart. The actual study itself that we're talking about, it's fairly lengthy. So, you know, if you really want to break down how did they get these numbers, how did the United States end up on number 12 of a list of 152 countries as calculated by the Cato Institute and uh, the Fraser Institute, it's been going on for almost two decades, this particular study, and the U.S. has dropped significantly since just 2002 within the last decade Uh, excuse me, actually it was 2000, where the U.S. ranked second in the world as far as economic freedom is concerned. Now it's number 12. It's dropped 10 positions on this list in in about 13, 14 years. So I'd asked how that makes you feel and if you could possibly claim that the United States is the most free place in the world. And it's interesting, Mark, not a single person wants to answer that question. I don't hear it anymore. I don't hear people say, it's a free country. Mm. I think that that you know that whole thing has gone away. Like 9-11 did away with it. I, I, but they'll I, still say it's like the best system in the world, and even that's not true. Right? I, because if, if these other places have more economic freedom, then the argument would be that I it's a better system, right? Okay, so which places are you referring to when you say these other places? All of them on the list at this point. I, mean, I don't think Canada Hong has a better. Kong. I don't think Canada has a better system than the United States. And how are they more free? Is you're just saying it's just the military? I well, it's you're not talking. Look at the look at the uh, the differences in these lists. What the the difference is? So when you're saying uh, Canada between the Canada and the United States, you're talking about on this list mm-hmm. about five points, five percentage points yeah. in their ranking. So yes. Absolutely. The amount of money the United States citizen pays to support the military that protects the world versus what, you know, people like uh, New Zealand, the the citizens of New Zealand, Canada, Switzerland, Australia, uh, Chile, uh, Marutus, Singapore, Hong Kong. Yes, absolutely. I think that's the the separating difference. Places like number one on their list of uh, factors is size of government size of government really matters. And I'm not saying that you don't need a military force out there, like boats in the water with guns on them in order to protect uh, you know, the shipping lanes. I'm not claiming that you don't. I'm claiming the United States citizen bears all of that cost itself, that West, that the Western wealthy Western countries aren't well, paying their fair share. Shouldn't the companies be the ones bearing their own security costs? I think that's a much better argument, is, is that, look, if you want to create a big shipping vessel, can't you create a big shipping vessel that can take care of petty little pirates? There would be, um, it would be more efficient that way, right? Because if the if, if it wasn't the militaries of the world or the United States or wherever that were providing this protection, then if the companies had to figure out ways to protect themselves, whether it was they did it themselves or they hired uh, some sort of mercenaries or whatever, protection agents, then it would be more decentralized. There would be more competition in the industry. There would be innovations in protection, and it it, the price would of, come down. It makes a heck of a lot more sense to just put cameras and GPS devices on uh, boats, and, and that way you can see if uh, some big ship from, I don't know, Libya or whatever, 
whatever blows up a, a shipping um, c- container ship, and then you could just declare war on them rather than having boats all over the place. So I don't think that a private company would be interested in declaring war, Mark. You were talking about the U.S. government in that case? Yeah. Governments around the world might be very upset if a shipping company, if a, if a boat was sunk. Mm-hmm. Well, I was talking about a world in which we don't have government protecting these companies trying to ship things from one point to the other. And I would think that in those instances, those companies would just be interested in defensive uh, actions. They would just be interested in protecting their shipments and not going in and like invading another country because that's a way to throw a lot of money down a drain. It's and that's really, why wars are so expensive. It's really hard for a man of war uh, to defend for a shipping uh, ship. To defend against like a man of war. Uh, that's like an- I said, you could hire a company to provide you with security. Certainly that doesn't do that. require invading another country. That would be an incredible waste of money. Yeah, but if that com- if that company um, you know decides you know we could make more money by just threatening certain areas, they can do that. A ship can sit offshore and lob lead um, in inbound. Mm. Then you need another company to do it, and then you're just talking about more competition. I don't think companies would be doing that, though, Mark, because then they'd be killing innocent people, and I think that would be very, very unpopular. At least in the marketplace that I would want to live in, I think people are mostly good, and I don't think they'd want to be associated with that, uh, that Look, kind of violence. Look, we know what it's like when uh, the United States government doesn't protect its ships. Yeah. We had uh, Thomas Jefferson had to deal with that, and it was called the Barbary Pirates. Okay. Yeah, you need boats with guns sticking out of them cool. to blow up other boats with guns sticking out of them, and to keep the shipping lanes clear right. how that would be meted out i don't know and i would be very interested in seeing what that might be like yeah. however i don't think you're going to see a steady pro- you know an immediate progression from all countries have gunned uh, armed ships to all countries don't like that's a laughably i wasn't talking about that. Wasn't, way to look at it i wasn't talking about that i was only suggesting that companies should provide for their own security that it shouldn't be the government's organizations job should that. And the United States government is an organization. What the United States government's problem is— It's funded is, by violence. Uh, no doubt about it. Yeah. But that doesn't have anything to do with their boat. The, they're they're uh-huh. funded by threatening to throw people in jail for— uh, You don't have a problem with boats with guns on them, right? No, certainly not. Okay, then you have a problem with the funding of the United States government. Yeah. So that's that's not the issue here. Well, that's not going to change either, right? The U.S. government isn't all of a sudden going to go voluntary funding. That's just not even a, an option on the table they, at all. What they're probably going to do is continue a, a road down insolvency and well, right, if they catastrophic can't, insolvency. Right, if they can't pay the bills for the military anymore, then all of a sudden the company is going to have to figure out their own way to protect themselves. And that's all I was advocating here tonight is that companies – Handle their own damn security and then build in the costs into their cost of their products. At least then we'll know what a a gallon of gas actually costs to get from one point to another. Matthew's listening in Ohio. Matthew, how are you listening in Ohio to WIBC in Cincinnati, or not Cincinnati, in Indianapolis? I'm actually, uh, I'm going between Indianapolis and Cincinnati. Ah, excellent. So you are listening in (laughs) Indy to WIBC, one of our newest radio affiliates. Welcome, sir. Go ahead with your thoughts. Well... Let me tell you this first. I'm a teacher of history, and when when you look at the historical pattern, it's not until you get to World War II that you see a significant shift in countries saying, uh, calling America first to solve their problems. It was always Europe's responsibility yeah. because Europe is where the power was. Sure. And, of course, after bombing most of Europe uh, into submission, either by Germany or by, by Allied bombers in the, or Axis bombers in England— uh, America had to step into that role. And it, it's unbelievable to me the fact that we spend so much money on defense. It's just like you were saying. It hold was hold that thought. Matthew, I want to give you a chance to get all your thoughts out. So hang on. We're going to bring you back here in a moment. Although I would say it's not defense. It's offense. Free talk live. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. 
talk radio generally and Free Talk Live specifically are a really inexpensive way to reach customers. All advertising is about return on investment. If you keep your investment low, you have a better chance of seeing a proper return. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations and the internet, reaching hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, Mark, at freetalklive.com. With autumn in the air, it's time to think about getting ready for winter. And it's time to save at HerbalHealer.com. You'll find amazing seasonal savings to prepare you for the fight against cold and flu season. Like Oregacillin to promote lung health. 30 capsules, regularly $34.95, now only $25. HHA Olive Leaf, the natural antiviral, normally $16.95, now 60 capsules are just $12. HHA Elderberry Power, a great flu and virus fighter, regularly $16.95, 60 capsules, now $10. Save on all our homeopathic detoxes. Choose from lungs, kidney, liver, brain, libido, or whole body. Normally $26.95, now just $20. Visit HerbalHealer.com and click on the Fall Winter Specials button to save on all our natural cold and flu fighting products. Also explore our Herbal Healer Academy correspondence courses that teach you how to handle your health naturally. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. Free Press Publications is an independent, alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary on the website fpp.cc, as well as a daily five-minute newscast, FPP Radio News, and weekly news, views, and commentary in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at fppradio.com, and the monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at FPP.cc. That's FPP.cc, as in Creative Commons. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877 you can sign up to receive the latest about the Liberty Radio Network via our email updates at updates.lrn.fm. That's updates.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You may bring up anything that's on your mind tonight here at 855-450 Free. It is the live Saturday edition. Joining you tonight, it's Ian and Mark. Join us online at freetalklive.com. And hey, enjoy those features you'll find there. If you like what we're doing here on Free Talk Live, you may join the AMP program. AMP stands for Advertise, Market, and Promote. Uh, it's five bucks a month. That's you know you can go to freetalklive.com and pay nothing and download all the archives you want, watch the webcam, you know, get interactive on our forums. But if you do five bucks a month, that actually does get you a few perks like access to the AMP only podcast, the AMP only Facebook group forum and more. So you get some perks, but that five bucks helps us because we invest it into the show, helping us get on more radio stations around the country and bring new Internet listeners on board as well. So uh, also expand our satellite footprint around the globe. So there's a lot we can do with your $5 a month. So please, if you like what we're doing here on Free Talk Live, just drop by amp.freetalklive.com. Get signed up there. That's amp.freetalklive.com. Matthew is with us 
listening on the road in the Indianapolis area to WIBC. You said you were a history teacher and you were getting into some points about uh, past wars and what the current status of the economic freedom uh, in the United States is, which is, by the way, for listeners just tuning in, uh, has dropped to 12th place in the world on both of the charts that have been looking at this for the last couple decades. Go ahead with your thoughts, Matthew. Are you with us? Hello? Yeah, go ahead with your thoughts. Uh Uh-oh. Are we having trouble with Matthew? Matthew perhaps is in a bad cell. We may not be able to bring him back. Always come back. Um, I was doing some rough uh, sort of back of the napkin calculations here. And looking at the Heritage Foundation's list, I was able to find out where the United States ranked on economic freedom uh, over the last five years. Okay. So they dropped basically two points. And two points is important on this list. The United States, if it had two more points, would be, instead of uh, the 12th position, would be in the 8th position. And hmm. so that's a pretty big deal. But if they lost 10 points, now consider, most of us here, you know, many of us many of us listening to the show right now, going to be alive in 25 years. If the United States continues to drop two points every five years over the course of 25 years they're going to be tied with romania at number 62 this is what and this is just a this is a gradual decline we all know that empires don't decline this way um now you know what's it going to look like how economically free is the united states going to be in 25 years i have no clue Mm. but if it continues at the rate that it has over time and the war on terror the obama administration has no intention of this going away anytime soon and so I don't expect this to go – I don't expect the United States to be more economically free in five years than it is today. The questions I have for people is, you know, everybody wants wants to secure the border. Maybe you should be looking at ways to get out rather than ways to keep people <laughs> from getting in. Uh, I mean, yeah. I just don't see good things for this nation. You Do make I think a police be- state – you put a police state on the border and a police state inside the United States, and that's what's being built, and that's going to hurt the economy even more. Yeah, well, immigrants have always been good for an economy. I think that there's an argument for some kind of controlled immigration, but I think increasing it would be a, a huge benefit. Um, I don't want to control immigration. How about the, the control be the natural? amount of people that would come here based on the incentives that they have uh, in the marketplace to come here? Why would you need anything else? Openborders.org says that there would be uh, an immediate doubling of world GDP by opening all the borders. It's incredible. Now, I Wait, don't, all of the borders in the entire world? All the borders in the entire world. Now, there's people, you know, people all over the world that want to go from here to there and work here and there and that kind of thing. And you, you don't defend your economy by preventing labor from moving across the borders in the same way that you don't defend your economy by preventing companies from from import of anything else let's go to greg he's listening in indianapolis to wibc hello greg hi you're on the air go ahead thanks well a couple things one the item you were just talking about open borders um sorry i disagree we're not talking about Legal immigration. We're talking about illegal so immigration. So you want but open, but an open border? We, but an open border. We got to close our borders mm. to illegal so immigration. So you want? I'm not proposing doing anything about illegal immigration. I'm proposing legalizing immigration. Wait, 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 uh, Greg. What no, you? You cannot have open borders and have a country. It doesn't work, guys. Well, oh, why do I want a country socialism. anyway? What country well, in the history of world? You've just made an important statement. I want to talk about your important statement for a minute. In the um, Discounting the last three decades, which countries protected their borders? Which countries disallowed people from moving across it? You're saying you can't have a country sure with open is. borders, but historically sure you are mistaken. It. Greg? Well, how am I mistaken? Because people have been able to cross borders of countries for a very long time. The uh, the, the putting border Legally, guards up yes, is extraordinarily they expensive. They have. Yes, you're correct. Okay, you said I couldn't have a country without borders. You couldn't I'm have sorry? a country that Greg wants without borders. Greg wants to have a police state. Isn't that right, Greg? No, you're putting words into my mouth, Oh, sir. well, how are you going to have closed borders without a police state? Can you please describe how that would look for me? Closed borders. Yeah, you I did. didn't say close said borders. Close the borders. I said controlled borders. Okay. Okay. What does that mean? Controlled access to our country. So if I want to leave, and if, uh, you guys, if, if you guys, if you guys, if you two believe that 
you can just have open borders and not have all kinds of messes. You guys are crazy. No, 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 no. Actually, idiot so just because so, yeah, so second, you know what you can tell day, greg when somebody doesn't have an argument point. hang on we'll let you get to your second point here in a moment because obviously we're not going to be able to talk over top of one another like this uh he said earlier that open borders is socialism and i'm sorry that's not true at all open borders has nothing to do with socialism or any other ism open borders is just freedom and it's socialism is forced you know wealth redistribution well, by no, the fl- socialism state. is uh, state ownership of the means of production and the st- means of production are two things land and people so if you're proposing to control the border you're proposing to control people sure. the means of production you're pro- proposing to control labor that's socialism well, and you have to control the land too in order to do that you've got to put up guard towers and fences and dig moats and whatever the hell else it would be greg uh go ahead with your second point and that's not what we're talking about here oh really my second point is my second point is question for you do you know how much Percentage-wise, the military is of our budget. Um, it's about half of what they call discretionary budget. No, total budget. Don't care about what we're talking about. Are you talking about what including country, Social Security and Medicaid, I'm which are entitlement about, programs? I'm talking about what this country, what the United States spends annually. Well, I'm talking about discretionary. It's a di- I'm talking about Who cares? Annual. Why do you ask? It's difficult. Well, it's about 25%, 20 to 25%. Well, because, the, the reason— um, Because— Good Lord in I, heaven! I asked let him me a make question. a point. I asked him a question. Why did you ask? Who cares? <laughs> because before this other subject you're on, you're talking about uh, the U.S. being number 12, and it's all due because we spend so much in our military, and that's bull crap. It's because— we have so much entitlement spending. Are you kidding me? Europe has that? far more site, uh, entitlement spending than the United States does, and they allow immigrants in, and they pay for their entitlement on a far greater basis. You are mistaken, sir. They have a much smaller spending uh, percentage spending on their military. I'm not trying to disparage the military in saying that. What I'm trying to say is the U.S. taxpayer should not be beholden to the world for keeping the shipping lanes clear. Thanks for the call, Greg. You know, anybody that is demanding close the borders, restrict people, coming here. There's only one way you can do that, and that's with the police force or the military. Either way, you've got men with guns whose job it is to stop people from coming in and to stop people from leaving and demand identification, demand government paperwork, demand money, demand fees, and it's ridiculous to say that's not a police state and to say that it wouldn't be a police state. You already have uh, these government goons, the ICE people that used to be INS are now ICE. They go into people's businesses, hold them at gunpoint, and demand they show all their employee files. I mean, that's like crazy Nazi tactics right there. I'm sorry. If I live in a free country, and we don't, but if I lived in a free country, I wouldn't have to show anybody any damn files of mine. They're my files. It's my business. I don't owe you anything, government guys. And with these uh, you know, border restrictions that are being proposed, it's just more and more rules. Now, if you want to get a job, you got to go through the e-verify process, right? you got to go through some sort of government approval thing where they check your number and make sure that you're approved to work here. Don't That's crazy. The, don't forget the checkpoints on the roads that go on within 100 miles of the border all the time. People, people being pulled over demanded their citizenship show their papers let's go to carl he's in indy listening to wibc hey carl hi i just wanted to call and get a clarification when you guys talk about freedom uh us being i guess number 12 at this point as far as uh uh economic yes uh are, are are you're not speaking totally right i mean because i mean you're not uh you're not really counting the biggest issue, which is freedom of speech, which I don't think any particular country that I can think of that I've actually even researched comes even close. Quantifying uh, social freedoms is very difficult. Yeah. The United States, uh, that was done relatively recently. The United States didn't reach the top 10. Let's talk um, about it, though. Carl, if you want to hang well, on, you're welcome well, to hang on. We can bring you back sure. here in a moment. 855 450 free, hour three's on the way. This is Free Talk Live's live Saturday show. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online, and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. 
Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com. Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. Radio is the most personal of mediums. I exist right now in your head. If you listen to Free Talk Live regularly, you know me. Free Talk Live is on more than 160 radio stations around the U.S. and has been downloaded on every continent around the world. Hundreds of thousands of listeners with ad packages from $600 a month to $6,000 a month. Imagine what we can do for your business, project, website, or idea. Email me, mark at freetalklive.com. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty News and activist updates online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, October 17th, 2014. Gold is trading around $1,240, silver around $17.36, and Bitcoin is trading around $383. Today's Bitcoin price brought to you by ExpressCoin, the fastest and most reliable way to buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin today at ExpressCoin.com. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. In the news, the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights has warned that extreme quarantine measures for Ebola patients could violate human rights and discourage reporting of the illness. Saeed Rayad al-Hussein said issuing criminal penalties for those who don't report is very likely to backfire by driving the epidemic underground. The statements came as President Obama issued an executive order that will allow the Pentagon to make use of reserve troops to tackle Ebola in Africa. There are no immediate plans to send the reservists or the National Guard to the continent, but the military maintains the option to do so. Researchers with the Multidisciplinary Association for Psychedelic Studies have raised nearly $142,000 for a study of MDMA-assisted psychotherapy for post-traumatic stress disorder in veterans. MAPS ran an Indiegogo crowdfunding campaign asking supporters to donate towards covering the cost of a new study in Boulder, Colorado. A recently published study found that 83% of those who experienced MDMA-assisted therapy were no longer diagnosed with PTSD and had significant improvements. MAPS is working to legalize MDMA research by 2021. A controversial national park in Tanzania has been the subject of protest by the Uvinji community. The small coastal fishing community is comprised of only 130 people, but their cause has received international attention after their land was included in a new map for a game reserve. The Tanzania National Parks Authority is attempting to drive the community out of the reserve, which now includes their land. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Marjorie Wildcraft's Grow Your Own Groceries, homegrown food on every table. That's growyourowngroceries.org. Support also comes from Be The Media, a workshop, mini-conference, and party exploring alternative media, and celebrating the launch of the Liberty Beat GCN Partnership. It happens Saturday, October 25th, and will be live-streamed at thelibertybeat.com. Be the media and change the world. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, October 16th, 2014. Check out the website at thelibertybeat.com. And make sure you like us on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash thelibertybeat. One year in the House of Corrections suspended on good behavior for one year and 100 hours of community service. That's the sentence handed down Thursday to the host of the nationally syndicated Free Talk Live radio program. 
Ian Freeman's sentence was decided by Keene, New Hampshire Superior Court Judge Edward Burke, arising from the charges of unsworn falsification and prohibition. The charges stem from an arrest in April of this year and were based on the state's claim that Freeman failed to file the proper paperwork in order to use the name Ian Freeman for his New Hampshire driver's license. Freeman's given birth name is Bernard. Freeman's show co-host of 12 years, Mark Edge, provided character testimony, telling the court that Freeman would not learn from being locked in a cage and has, through Edge's influence, recently toned down his controversial civil disobedience activism. Freeman told the Liberty Bean he's thankful that he's not going to jail and that a suspended one-year jail sentence is a hefty price to pay for getting a name change. The state prosecutor had recommended a sentence of 60 days in jail. The Free Barrett Brown Organization is asking supporters of the jailed journalist to mail letters to the judge that will sentence him on November 24th. The organization is asking for sympathetic letters detailing Barrett's contributions to be mailed to Judge Lindsay. Barrett Brown has been behind bars for over two years, a portion of which was spent bound by a gag order. He was originally accused of sharing a hyperlink to stolen data, hiding laptops, and threatening a federal agent. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper 401ks and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 Reasons book free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Support also comes from Sovereign Living, a podcast, blog, and reality show about what it takes to live a voluntary and natural life. Check out the blog at SovereignLiving.com and watch episode one of the soon-to-be-released reality show at SovereignLiving.tv. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, October 17th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Markets went into a frenzy today after the price of money suddenly skyrocketed to $90 a dollar. Onion reporter spoke to economics professor Mark Cosgrave about the soaring cost of U.S. currency and the impact of increasingly unpredictable dollar-to-dollar -dollar rates. Right now, money prices are steeply rising with no signs of slowing down. This morning alone, the price of dollars nearly tripled, with one cent worth approximately six dollars. That's exponentially higher than even a week ago when money was trading at roughly fifty-three dollars on the dollar. To put it bluntly, we're now in the midst of a national economic crisis. According to Cosgrave, the abrupt spike in dollar prices initially caused many Americans to hold on to their money, hoping that the ninety-dollar cost of dollars would soon dip back down. But as prices continued to climb, investors panicked and began purchasing as much money as possible. But with the cost of quarters hitting four dollars and ninety-seven cents and the five-dollar bill jumping to a twelve-year high of three hundred and seventy-two dollars, the days when you could get thirty. $40 for just a couple of bucks are unfortunately long gone. This is the Onion News Network. Free Talk Live, dial here toll free. It's the live Saturday edition. The number is 855 450 free. That's brought to you by Pro XPN, 855 450 3733. Joining you tonight in the studio, it's Ian here. And Mark. And we're going to jump right back into your phone calls, but to bring you up to speed in case you're just tuning in, uh, the Index of Economic Freedom from the Cato Institute and the Fraser Institute. And I'm sorry, I said Fraser was in the United States earlier. They're Canada, Canada based. Uh, so Cato and Fraser teaming up for this index, ranking the United States at number 12 in the world, down from number two over a decade ago. It's just consistently year, almost year after year, been falling down the list. And you know, a question I asked earlier is how can you, how can anyone in the United States look at this list, see the United States at number 12 on it and dropping, and make the claim still that this is the freest country? Now, Carl brings up an interesting point listening to WIBC in Indianapolis. You said, well, what about social freedoms? What about, like, you know, freedom of the press, what? freedom of speech? I wanted to give you a chance to get your thoughts out. So go ahead, Carl. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I, and I don't consider... Uh, the 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 the, uh, the whole whole thing of freedom of speech. I don't consider that a social type of of, of, of freedom. I consider that a basic type of, of freedom that okay. we have, and I think it's huge. I mean, it's absolutely huge. Now, I, I agree with you guys. I'm not taking any type uh, type of issue as far as uh, economics. I wish we were uh, freer in, in in that. But you, when you're when you talk about if, if you're looking at the whole, which is to say that we are the freest, I think you have to count. Uh, speech, very, very. I mean, I, I, I mean, I think it's huge. I think it's big. And I, I think, think the right to complain uh, 
is is uh, probably you know the United States. We still have that uh, that we can claim that you've got the right to complain in the United States. I did look up, uh, and this is the only list I've found on social freedoms ever. If somebody has another one, I'd be interested in it. But from capitalismisfreedom.com, they ranked uh, the countries of the world. The United States came out seventeenth for social well, but, freedoms. Once again, I don't I don't know where uh, freedom of speech falls in there as far sure. as. Well, you, but you can't. Uh, you, know, you can wait freedom. freedom of speech any way you want to wait it. But you've also got to consider that you know the right to complain is not everything. It's it's nothing. Well, well, but I mean, where would you guys rate it? Where would I consider I mean, freedom of speech? I would consider it a basic right among all the other basic rights. If uh, my right to own a weapon or my right to engage in commerce is being one. is that's being subjugated one. the right to complain about it isn't that useful well, because nobody seems to care hold on before we go on to the right to bear arms let's look at the, you you're going to have to break that one down state by state because there's an insane level of variety sure. uh, within that's, the United that, States on that. that that's absolutely true but 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 what we're talking about here is comparing us to other nations i would agree i think the freedom to to, uh, to bear arms i would like more freedom with that, and, and you have a right to complain about that, but I think as far as comparing us, I, I thought that's what the discussion was about, was comparing us to other nations. That's that's another freedom you really can't compare t- to any of, uh, uh, other country in the so, world because because nobody has that uh, in the same way that we do. I, I, well, like I said, in what way are Western uh, European countries uh, prevented from freedom of speech? I don't. I, I think in most of those countries that they they can actually jail you for speaking out against the government. Uh, I don't think that sense. You, They've got hate speech charges go any, you don't have to in go Canada. Any further than Canada, there are people in jail right now in in, in 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 Canada for speaking out against the government. Now I don't know, Carl, of a freedom of speech index, but the closest thing I can find is journalists without borders or reporters, reporters without, without borders. borders. Yeah. They come up with a yearly World Press Freedom Index, and obviously there's different factors uh, factored in here, but the United States is currently at number 46 on that list, with countries like uh, Finland, Netherlands, Norway, Luxembourg, all in the top five, Andorra at number five. Uh, so lots of European countries with much greater press freedoms than the United States. Well, so that, would, to me, is an indicator of free speech as well. If, if well, you can say what be, you want from be, the mouthpiece of the press— be. Well, it it could be depending on what they factor in. You you yeah. you know you could be well, right, but you but, looked you were looking for some information. I, I found some information got, for you. This is you. all we got. The well, only thing we could do is go on the internet and look at lists. But, and um, I mean, but, if you just want to sit there and say, "Oh, well, the United States must be the best because I like it. I, no, I, I love red, no, white, no, 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 blue, no, 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 and eagles." No, that's not my point. That's that's not what I'm saying well, at all. You okay. don't have freedom of speech in the United States. I can tell you that. Um, if I wanted to get on the radio and I want to say uh, six dirty words, I can't. Now, yes, th- but you. But you're able to get on the radio and say anything you want right now. I mean, that's the no. Whole I can't. There are six words I can't say. It, there's probably more than that, but I, like I well, couldn't but as, but be as, purient. But as far as political speech, you 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 are able to say anything you want. Okay, that's well, true. I I, I I would do. I would uh, venture to say that there are other places on the planet you can do that. Thanks, Carl, for the call tonight. I appreciate hearing from uh, you. Let's talk to Rick. He's listening to WIBC in Indianapolis. Hey, Rick. Hey. Um, Wow, I was just thinking there are places you guys would be beheaded for talking the way you're talking. Mm-hmm. I'm but, not uh, saying I don't appreciate being able to say what we're saying, but, I mean, sorry, the United States is not the freest place in the world. What's that got to do with slipping down to 12 on the uh, World Economic Freedom Chart? Well, no, no, no. What I called about, your your idea of open borders, yes, the sir. problem is— It's not my idea. Expense. I, all I did was quote a number from openborders.org where they, the world would see a doubling in world GDP. But go okay. ahead, Rick. Well, the problem is there's economic boundaries there, right? I, my, my, uh, what I pay into the entitlement program should go to my fellow countrymen, not to somebody in Chile or. Why do Africa you keep paying or, into them? That, okay, that should have been said uh, in, on the onset. I don't believe that you should have the obligation to support somebody who comes to this country to make a better life for themselves. I don't think they should be um, allowed. But I do. We, okay. Why don't you stop? Well, I'm, I'm fact, sorry that there's a I tyrannical can't. government in Washington, D.C. that isn't going to listen to you and isn't going to listen to me on the things that we want. Right. We're talking about a fantasy world where there's open borders. In a fantasy world where I can open borders, I can also say that I would do away with every single welfare program because I don't think you should support somebody <laughs> from Tijuana any more than you should have to support somebody from San Diego. 
Yeah, that, that's not reality, though, right? Neither is opening the border. Come down to, <laughs> Neither is bringing all the troops back. Cents, the reality no. is the United States has slipped down to number 12 on the World Economic Freedom Chart, and if this uh, pattern continues, we'll be number 62 in 25 years. Are you prepared for that, sir? No, I, I, I'm frustrated because of the people that are in charge of their, our government. Yep. What that's would you true. like to see? What would you like to see change? Oh, goodness. <laughs> I I couldn't even begin to. Gosh, there's a huge list. Um, Pick one. What's an important you know, issue? Well, the, the entitlement thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's not it's not. We know for a fact it's abused to no end. Yep. It's not right. We should damn us if we don't take care of the people that need help. But on the other hand, there are just millions of people, and I'm not going to say a hundred million or. It, there's probably four, five, six million people in this country that are just robbing us all blind. Yeah, and there's also the politicians. Thanks in, for the call, Rick. I appreciate it. Toll entitlement programs are relatively small in comparison to uh, what the spending is out there. I would say corporate welfare mm. dwarfs um, regular welfare. Toll-free number tonight is 855-450-FREE. That's brought to you by ProXPN, 855-450-3733. And you can join us via Skype at Skype username LRN.FM. But that's what the government does. It turns us against each other. It takes the middle class, turns it against the poor, takes the poor, turns it against the rich, mm, takes the mm -hmm. rich, turns it against the middle class. And I know who wins. The rich do. They're able to right. give the politicians more money. Well, right. And they want people to be fa uh, fighting each other so they won't know Notice who the real criminals are, which, right. of course, are the government people, the government goons who want to it's rule. It's not rich versus poor. It's the government against you. Yeah, they want to rule over your life, and they are ruling over your life. And the sad part is you've got folks who see the what's wrong with this forced wealth redistribution system, as our last caller did seem to understand. But they think the solution is to try to keep people out of the United States. And so they're just asking for more government spending. I understand they'd like to see welfare cut, but they're not looking at that as their solution. They're looking at, well, okay, well, we don't believe welfare can be cut because, well, the Republicans and Democrats have never really done anything to stop it. Uh, so they don't realistically believe that that's possible, but they certainly can see the idea of having more troops, right? Having more men with guns on the border. That seems realistic, right? The government certainly can get bigger. So let's have more government enforcement on the border because they're small government conservatives and they want more government, right? Am I missing something here? Toll free numbers 855 450 free, or maybe being conservative doesn't actually be uh, mean being in favor of smaller government after all, now does it? More coming up here. You can take control at 855-450-FREE, and this is Free Talk Live. Have you thought about owning gold? There are lots of reasons to own precious metals. A hedge against inflation. When the dollar tanks, metals go up. A barter currency. You can disempower the Fed by using real money. And no one knows the future. In an economic collapse, metals are likely to be a currency. Do as I've done for years. Buy your gold and silver and precious metals from Midas Resources through gold.freetalklive.com. That's gold.freetalklive.com. Here's a good idea. When you have a legal matter like creating your will or legally setting up a business with a corporation or LLC, you don't necessarily need a law firm. Use LegalZoom.com. At LegalZoom.com, you answer straightforward questions online and they take care of the rest. They even review your answers for common mistakes and guarantee your satisfaction. Free Talk Live listeners, you'll get 10% off your order by typing in FTL in the referral box at purchase. Don't procrastinate with these important legal documents. LegalZoom.com Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. 
1037 for the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp dot freetalklive.com If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. We are here live on Saturday nights. We do a show live seven nights a week, so there's plenty of chance uh, for you to get your thoughts on the air here on Free Talk Live. You can do it in two ways. One, call us toll-free at 855-450-FREE. That's a number brought to you by ProXPN, 855-450-3733. We're talking about the U.S.'s current ranking in the Index of Economic Freedom. There are actually two of them in the world, and uh, the U.S. is currently ranked at number 12 in both. We can continue that discussion. Also, open borders have come up, as well as other stuff. So feel free to comment and also join us via Skype at Skype username LRN.FM. Is privacy dead? Not if we have anything to do about it. On November the 7th and 8th, coders, privacy specialists, and idea people of all stripes will join together for Hack the Trackers, a transparency and privacy hackathon brought to you by Ghostry. You can enter online or join them in person in New York City to create tools that make the web a more transparent place or help users manage how much data they share. The hacks will be judged by experts and voted on by an online community, and winners will receive a prize package including the all-new Black Phone, a secure-by-design smartphone for people who recognize a need for privacy and want a simple, secure place to start. Participation is free. Registration is open now. Visit hackthetrackers.com for more information. It's free. Hackthetrackers.com. All right, let's continue here. Your calls and thoughts. Ashley's listening in Wichita to KQAM. Hey, Ashley. Hello. Hey, you're on the air. Oh, um, I just wanted to kind of uh, get your opinion and, and sound off on some disturbing things I heard a previous caller say as far as uh, how free he thinks our freedom of speech is. Hmm. Um, I, I don't really see how anyone in our country that has any electronic device, whether it be a smartphone, a tablet, I mean, you have to sign away all your rights just to be on Facebook or Google. I mean, they are allowed to access your camera, your microphone, overtake it without your permission just to have IM Messenger. I mean, if we have 
true freedom of speech, then why are all these things being regulated by our tyrannical government? It's a really I mean, interesting they, question, they, right? Like, so if, um, you know, there's there are studies that if uh, somebody's on camera, they act differently than they do if they're not on camera, right? Like, so if you put your employee on uh, the cash register and you put a camera on them, they're less likely to steal money than if you don't put a camera on them, and this makes perfectly good sense. So if the government is listening to and reading um, all of, you know, basically all electronic communication, is that freedom of speech? And I would I would agree with you, it's not. Well, there's also evidence, Ashley, and we didn't get into this uh, in the last segment, but there's uh, plenty of stories about people in the media who've been threatened. So, for instance, uh, and, and there's a variety of these over the last few years, but of uh, folks who work in news media who have sources that they want to keep private, the government has, in many cases, forced them to turn over that information or put them in jail if they don't turn it over. So, you know, that's partially one of the reasons why the United States is at number 47 on the uh, the index, the world index of press freedom. So, yeah, the the idea that we have true freedom of speech is really just a, an effective illusion. I mean, it's more free here than in a lot of places as far as what you can say. But if you get behind a microphone or in front of a camera and you say certain things, then that definitely puts you at a greater risk. Oh, definitely. And, and it's basically when you have to resort to wearing a so-called anonymous mask just to protest, what have we come to? Yeah, and of course, if you look at the way the police behave, especially around protests they're, towards They're the... totally militarized. Right. I don't know as far as where you guys are located, but where I'm located, they're in the process of militarizing our police. The, the National Guards are actually donating tankers, armed tankers. Yes. To the police department. Yep, uh, they do that all around the country. Uh, <laughs> they've got something yeah, called the everywhere. Bearcat that uh, the U.S. government, the Department of Homeland Security, has been purchasing uh, brand new for, oh, yes. uh, for we police have departments. Drones that fly over here at our Air Force base all the time doing drills. Um, they say that they're not getting in people's privacy, but I find it a bit odd that when I go to certain links on YouTube, oh, this video has been shut down. Well, sure it has, because it's about a tyrant, a mobster, that's running our country. Of course this was shut down. Well, they're always because mobsters running the country, right? Feet, I know? mean, Ashley, you, you agree with and, the, and, Ashley, you would agree that there are always ty tyrants and mobsters in charge of the United States. Yes, and I think that's the problem, is that the people need to wake up and realize that we're not we the people unless we the people actually stand up and do something about it. Thanks for the call, Ashley. I appreciate hearing from you tonight. Toll-free number is 855-450-FREE. And I like the idea of standing up and doing something. Of course, most people don't know what they can actually do. I mean, yeah. It seems like the options are fairly limited. You can, uh, if you're upset about the U.S. government, you can go stand on the side of the road, hold yourself a sign up, and wave at people as they drive by. And look like the crazy person predicting you the end of the world. could try to get elected to some sort of U.S. government position and try to go up against moneyed people that have all kinds of resources and big corporate donors. But the system was set, But the system was set up by rich people to benefit rich people. It is extraordinarily difficult right. to get in at the lowest levels of government, let alone manage to uh, make it uh, you know, to, to the highest levels where you can actually do something. So it seems like there's no real option. And I don't want to be a politician. No, I mean, it's uh, right. I mean, it's, it seems like there aren't very many options as far as how to change Washington, D.C. And the, really, the truth is you can't. You can't change D.C. You don't have a chance. The corporate paymasters there are the ones who are in charge, and they're going to continue to be in charge, and they give to both Republicans and Democrats. So it doesn't matter who wins. You lose. Oh, sure, you can crow about how your team won this year or that they got the presidency and they got the Senate or whatever it is they got. They're your not your team. Your team won. Well, no, you didn't win anything. They don't care about you. You're just a resource to them. You're a human resource. You pay their salary or else you go to prison and they steal your house from you. They steal your family away from you. I mean, it's a sick system. And gangster, mobster, that's absolutely the right word. The word. I don't mean to sound like there's no solution. We did talk earlier on the show tonight about the Free State Project. So for those of you who are not aware, if you love liberty, and that means allowing other people to be free, that means allowing everyone else to be free, if that's what you want for you. If you love liberty, and that means you know being able to live your life how you want so long as you don't hurt anybody else— then you should get together with other people who think like that. Let's create a deliberate community of people who care about liberty enough to where they're willing to do that something 
that she was talking about earlier. And I don't mean violence. I don't think violence is the solution. I think that's only going to make things worse. I don't want to see a violent revolution. I want to see evolution to more freedom. And the only way we have a shot at that is through numbers. You have to have concentration. That's what the Free State Project is doing here in New Hampshire. It's doing an amazing job. In fact, there's now a new hate website about the Free State Project that has gone online. It is FS. FSINH.net. Not doesn't really roll off the tongue there. FSINH.net. I suspect it stands for Free State something New Hampshire. But I don't know. I'm just guessing there. It's a new hate site because the Free State Project makes an impact. The Free State Project, unlike the Libertarian Party in the United States, the Free State Project participants here who've moved here, like you and I, Mark, we've moved, we're early movers. Uh, the idea is to get 20,000 of us. The Republican Party doesn't make much of an impact for smaller government either. They make a big impact, but in it New never Hampshire, has anything do. to do with small government. In New Hampshire, they do. They do, yes. In fact, in New Hampshire, Free Staters are both Republicans and Democrats. That's true. And are getting elected on both counts. So here you actually have liberty people who are winning political office and who are stopping bad laws from coming into place in a lot of cases. And we're just barely getting started. You can learn more about that at freestateproject.org. If you want a solution and you love liberty, that's your answer. There's more coming up here on Free Talk Live. You take control. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to mymagicmud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, mymagicmud.com. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. Keenvention is coming up October 31st through November 2nd. Get your tickets now at keenvention.info. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keen, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, attend social events like the costume party. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, James Robin Hood Cleveland, Rich Paul, and Free State Project President Carla Garrick will be keynoting. And we'll have all kinds of panels, including the new Cop Block panel and the new Movers panel hosted by the outlaw Josie Wales. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keen for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. Only 100 tickets are available in advance, so lock yours in now for just $60 or with Bitcoin. Reserve your tickets now at keenvention.info. Visit keenvention.info for more or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's keenvention.info. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Nesquik. Try Nesquik 4-Packs, perfect for lunches and great for kids on the go. Look for it in the juice aisle. Snack time is a great chance to sneak extra calcium into your child's diet without making him feel like he's eating something he doesn't want. Serve up dairy-rich foods like smoothies, flavored milk, frozen yogurt, and string cheese. He'll love the treat, and you'll love knowing how good it is for him. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats and the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's post pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. Federal authorities are currently on high alert in Washington, D.C., following reports that hundreds of crazed sociopaths infiltrated the congressional chambers this morning. Mary Canley, a Capitol employee who managed to escape the House chambers, described the troubling scene to reporters. I saw all of them, about four to 500 completely deranged people, just rambling on about guns, the, the military, and money. 
Investigators say the lunatics, many of whom are believed to suffer from severe personality disorders, have locked themselves in the chambers for hours now with no clear purpose or reasoning. I looked at one of them right in the eyes and it was like he was empty on the inside, devoid of any emotion or feeling. It was horrifying. It's only a matter of time before they do something that really hurts someone. We believe these men to be manipulative and extremely dangerous. Luckily, they are also very disorganized, and there is a chance they may never be able to ever take any action at all. For more on this developing story, keep checking TheOnion.com. This is The Onion News Network. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. Dial in toll free here at 855 450 free. That's 855 450 3733. Join us online over at freetalklive.com. We give you the features for free. It's a live Saturday edition with you tonight, Ian here. And Mark. And don't forget how to get Bitcoin. Best way? Expresscoin.com. Expresscoin.com. Definitely. They're the best choice for getting your cryptocurrencies. Whether you want to get Bitcoin or Litecoin or Dogecoin or Darkcoin or Blackcoin. They're safe, fast, easy, inexpensive. They're a licensed money services business. You can get your cryptocurrencies with a money order check or wire transfer. And I think this is the best way is to actually make a deposit at a local credit union that has shared branching. You just start off first at expresscoin.com. If you do that, uh, that deposit at a, at a credit union thing, you can get your bitcoins or whatever cryptocurrencies within a business day. It's expresscoin.com, whether in the U.S. or Canada. You can do it from your smartphone by downloading the app at expresscoin.com. Use coupon code FTL. That's FTL as in free talk live or faster than light. You pick uh, and get up to $40 worth of uh, your favorite cryptocurrency, all with no fee. Expresscoin.com, coupon code FTL. All right. So we continue with your calls and thoughts. We go first to Tom listening in Oakland, Indiana to WIBC. Hey, Tom. Yes. Uh, I wanted to go back to, to what you were saying about our borders. Yes, sir. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, according to what I understood you to say, uh, our borders should be open. Is that is that what I understood you to say? Yeah, and there also right? should not be any government uh, forced wealth redistribution programs as well. If you want to have a free country... Now then yeah, you shouldn't have you shouldn't have either borders or welfare. What do you think? Well, I think that uh, in order for you to have a nation, you have to have closed borders. Now, I've, this was posited. This was posited earlier on the show, and I want you to tell me. Besides North Korea, where is this station? Where is this nation that has closed borders? And if there isn't one, then does that mean that we've had no nations historically? Every. every country that I have ever been to has had closed borders. You mean some kind of controlled know, borders? Um, like with I don't know where I don't know where you have ever been. I've been in but, uh, about uh, 20 I, countries. I, yeah, I've been in uh, probably a little bit more than that. You win. And uh, <laughs> have you ever been to Saudi Arabia? I have never been to Saudi Arabia. Okay. They, they but I am disgusted they, that the United States government supports a place with a king, that a country that had a revolution against a king now supports a despotic ruling class. That's not that's not what we're talking about. No. What we're talking about is borders. Mm -hmm. OK. What about Mexico? What happens if you come up from Nicaragua and attempt to get into Mexico and they Do you want you? this nation to be like Mexico? <laughs> What we're talking about. You know, about when you go into what? Hong Kong and Singapore, the economically freest and most successful places on earth, it's very, very easy. They want you there. Uh -huh. They want you to spend uh -huh. money. They want you to come there. Tom, why but, do you want the United States to be more like Mexico or Guatemala? I don't want them to be like Mexico or Guatemala. But you want border controls not, like they do, have, right? Do, do not construe my words. What do you want? What I'm saying is. In order for you to be a nation, I don't want you a nation. Have to have, Why would I want you a don't nation? Want a nation? No, nations just divide well, then, people. What good is a well, nation? Then why don't you? Why don't you get out of ours then? No, I'm not going anywhere. I'm a get, nation of my own. Can I be my own nation? Can I be a, a nation of why one? 
why don't you get out of ours and go someplace? Okay, I already well, I told you I'm not that. doing that. I kind of uh, did that. I picked up from Florida. I moved to New Hampshire for the Free State Project to bring more liberty in my know, lifetime here. Can I be a nation of one, Tom? You know, children, I really enjoy. All right. You don't want to talk? Have a nice uh, day. 855, 450 free. Can I be a nation of one? I want to be my own nation. I don't want anyone else involved. Can I do that? That would be sovereignty. That Why was shouldn't the, I be able to do the that? The suggestion was the United States, that's what it was about. Uh, remember that the Constitution doesn't give uh, really border control to the uh, U.S. government. It does give naturalization to the U.S. government. Wayne is with us in South Carolina listening to WQXL out of Columbia. Hello, Wayne. Yes. Um, a friend of mine quoted this. He well, said, do people come to America for freedom or for what's free? Does uh, Mexico or them stations or any other uh, countries uh, have welfare or is their welfare plan to send them to america i don't think they've got i can't imagine they have much of a welfare plan this country's broke this country's broke and these people where i live they drive new trucks they got the they never had to pay no hospital bills you know i like to come to a country like that too where i got treated like a king let me ask you this if you're assuming that uh mexicans come here and get uh welfare and i don't know the answer i can i can imagine it's very difficult some do (laughs) some do not well no no it's it's really difficult to get welfare if you're illegal right like you can't go and present things their kids get it that's fine okay their kids get it it. i I got you now if you're assuming that let me ask you this yeah why do yeah. you think that you, uh, like, you know, somebody who's from here uh, should get welfare and somebody who's from across the border shouldn't? They're citizens. They send them here to well, get welfare. That's not an answer to the that's question. That's a non-responsive here. answer to the question. They're citizens. Not an answer. Why yeah. do you think that somebody oh. from uh, Tijuana deserves it and somebody from, San Di- somebody from San Diego deserves it and somebody from Tijuana doesn't? Uh, they're st- uh, well, they're taxpayers. These people don't pay taxes, and I that's know that's nonsense. For a fact. Hold on, you, you don't. Yep. What kind of taxes yep. are you talking yep. about? The fact is, that half the they U.S. population they, they doesn't pay taxes. A, they give them a ten ninety nine. A friend of mine hired some, and I told him they gave him a ten ninety eight. They threw it in the garbage. That's what Americans they, should do. do. Why don't you throw it in the garbage? Yeah, but- because I get put in jail. They get, oh, tri- they get pandered. Oh, so, so what you're saying scared. is, what what you're saying yeah. is the, uh, the immigrants yeah. are more courageous than you are, Wayne. Is that right? Uh, they're getting pandered to. That's why they come no, here. No, they're still facing that's jail, that's man. Jail. They're still putting those yeah. guys in jail. Thanks for the call tonight. No, that's, that's, I think, the truth here, right, is that Americans are scared to death of their own government. Oh, my God. I can't not fill out a 1099. I've got to fill out my forms because of freedom. Freedom, let's fill out more forms. That's freedom. Oh, those other people over there, they're just coming across the border and they're not filling out those forms? Well, shame on them. How dare they have the level of courage that I wish I could have. Let's send the police state after them. Teach them a lesson. Tell them what being free is really all about. That's obedience is freedom. Isn't it, wasn't it Rudy Giuliani who said that during the presidential campaign <laughs> in 2008? Obedience is freedom. Let's continue here. Uh, we've got John listening in Myrtle Beach to WRNN. Hello, John. Okay, look, both of you have got to break. I mean, you just got to back away from the pipe a minute. You, you're Which not, pipe? I mean, no, you can't be your own country. We are the United States of America. Not me. We like it or not, we are a constitutional republic. We're a country of laws. There is no. You're not a country of laws. <laughs> your leader doesn't. Yes, your leaders yes, do not follow your laws. You don't. No, you. You're right. You're right. And you're always. Then you don't have a country of laws. Stop no, saying that true. because you're that's perpetuating a lie. It's an imperfect. It's an imperfect country. It's a you're damn lie. Have. Don't no, say it. You made Look, a no, no, here. Oh, I'll you talk to you about that in just earlier. one second. But this is really important to me. It's important to me that the average American, the Republicans out there, the you know the people that call in to talk radio, stop saying this is a nation of laws. Because when your leaders don't follow your laws, you don't have a nation of laws. You have a nation of serfs. If leaders hand down rules and you follow them, you're not you're not part of the the, the government. You are the ruled, not the rulers. Really, really. Okay, so when you uh, the statement you made earlier about when you go to Thailand, how they it's very easy to get in. They want you to spend Kong. money there, and then you go down Singapore. on the second block, and there's a six year old naked boy laying in a car. I didn't say box. Thailand. Thailand, Thailand, has Thailand has extraordinary. Thailand has extraordinarily. We don't have that poverty here. We have structure. Uh, we yeah, take let's care of pay our attention own. here, we real quick, John. Elk. John, we yeah. are talking about Hong Kong, which is not Thailand. You understand? There's a difference. Okay, either one. I don't care. Go no, to anywhere, there's a Asia. difference. Hong anywhere. Kong is very wealthy there. in comparison to Thailand. There. 
Go to the Philippines. Okay. It's the same way John, there. Go to Dumaguete. look, if you just want to act like everybody in them other countries is all just crap, it's crap town over there. They're all poor and living in boxes. No, 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 no. Uh, there may be some people living in a box in an alleyway in Hong Kong because, though, there's homeless people everywhere. But Hong Kong's one of the wealthiest places in the entire world. It's because of its economic freedom. The same with Singapore. Because of economic freedom, yeah. these places are doing quite well. And that would be the case in the United States if the United States was more economically free. John, but thanks for the call, man. It's just going to it's gonna continue to deteriorate as it has. 855-450 free. You take control of Free Talk Live. Hey guys, if you're into fantasy football, you've got to check out FanDuel.com. At FanDuel, you play in one-week fantasy football leagues for real money with immediate cash payouts. You only play when you want, and you can change your team any week. FanDuel is paying out over $10 million every week this season. And right now, FanDuel is giving you up to $200 free. That's right, for every dollar you deposit, FanDuel will match it up to $200. Just go to FanDuel.com, click the microphone in the upper right corner, and enter code FOOTBALL70. F-A-N-D-U-E-L.com, code FOOTBALL70. Khalid lives in Gaza. He makes his living as a taxi driver. The engine in his old beater blew up. Now, he makes good money driving people in his cab, but he couldn't afford the $1,300 for a new engine. Free Talk Live helped him get a loan for the engine, and he's back on the road. You can help us help more people by getting your coffee through coffee.freetalklive.com. Make a difference. One cup at a time. Get a free pound to try out the subscription. Cancel any time. Coffee.freetalklive.com. Hi folks, Ronnie McMullen here for Life Change Tea. Healthcare is a problem, whether you're for or against Obamacare. It's a mess. My question is, who do you trust? Do you want to be told what to do or do you want to make your own decision? My opinion, preventative maintenance. Keeping your colon clean is preventative maintenance. A little exercise, a balanced diet, and drinking Life Change Tea. It tastes great and it helps with constipation, high cholesterol, liver problems, acid reflux, and much, much more. And with the holiday season upon us, you can get some extra tea for free. Don't wait for Obama. Make your own decision. Order now. Call us at 928-308-0408. That's 928-308-0408. Or you can log on to getthetea.com. That's getthetea.com. Ridding yourself of harmful toxins is truly preventative maintenance. Getthetea.com. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keen is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keene is the liberty media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. RATS is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateur, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. RATS was written by OG libertarian Claire Wolf. RATS is a short book, easy to read, and available free in many formats. Download RATS free at rats-nosnitch.com. That's rats-nosnitch.com. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm. It's 
It's Free Talk Live. The live Saturday edition continues here, but only for these remaining moments. There might be enough time to get you in if you're on the line right now at 855-450 free. Also, Skype is always an option for you over at username lrn.fm. If you want to Skype us, do send a contact request first. It will be approved, and then you can call us from that point forward anytime you want on Skype. Seven nights a week we do this show. Mark, you'll be here live for the Sunday edition of the program Indeed tomorrow night uh, with whoever your co-host might happen to be at that time. And, of course, you'll be taking live phone calls then. So if you don't get in tonight, there's always more time for you here on Free Talk Live. We've kind of stirred things up here. It wasn't my intention to talk about open borders tonight, but, well, man, you dropped that one out there, and it just goes off like a bomb. In fact, Mark, somebody called in, one of the callers from, I think, the last segment, John, apparently, uh, I think it was in Myrtle Beach. He is going to call the station on Monday, and he is going to have us pulled off the air. You know, because free speech. The point that I, yeah, free speech. <laughs> the point that I uh, was making on this is that um, the United States is uh, moving down the economic freedom charts. Yes, We're talking down to about number that, twelve. Down to number twelve, and I, at the same rate that it's been going over the last five years, it'll be number sixty-two, tied with Romania in twenty-five years. I think this is really important. I mentioned several ways of increasing uh, economic freedom here in the United States. One of the ways is. You, that you can boost your economy in any country, you could look at this. You can open up immigration. Now, I think immigration should be increased. I don't think that under the way things are be, being currently done in the United States that uh, you can that will do very well to uh, to just open the borders wide open because you got this welfare state going on and people would come here to get taken care of for free and that's a bad thing and that should be done away with. Also, you have the United States all over the world doing military stuff and that creates enemies. You mm. don't want enemies just to be able to come across a border. However, I think that if you don't have open borders, you don't have free people crossing borders of free countries. So you don't have free people. You don't have free countries. Yeah, I like freedom. I'll take it's the It's just risks. a concept. I'll take the risks that come along with freedom. Let's go to Chuck listening in Indy to WIBC. Hello, Chuck. Hello. Um, I don't know where to start now with all this excitement on the air. I don't but, know, but um, are you on a uh, hands-free device or something like that? Uh, I am not. I am not. I am not driving. Okay, very um, good. Go ahead, sir. Well, uh, the w one comment that was made a while back ago about the um, – some uh, and forgive me, I'm, I'll paraphrase here as best I can – that um, the gentleman didn't like our, our leaders in, um, in Washington. And, um, but um, it seems as though people will make a comment like that and not realize where these leaders come from and how they earn their jobs. And, and I don't know. I have a – I think people are very, are very lazy in the democracy – and don't do their best to go and vote the, the vote the establishment out. Just and, to be clear, uh, I just want to make sure I'm understanding you. What makes you think that by voting for the other party, you'd be voting the establishment out? Oh no, you can't vote for the other party. Okay, you, it's got. It, you, know, you can't do that. You're just voting. What I mean, it's right. just. A, it's a. It's a. It's a. It's a. It's a. Right. Um, it's a. It's a scam. We're on. The, they're scumbags. They're they're scumbags yeah. on so, on uh, on the red team, and they're scumbags on the blue team. So I'm glad we're on the same page there. There was one other thing I wanted to clarify. I don't think I use. I know I didn't use the term. I don't think you did, Mark, because I would have called you on it. Uh, I don't consider these people leaders. At least, you know, they certainly don't lead me, and I don't want them to lead me, and I don't want to elect somebody to lead me because I, I'm in charge of my life, and I don't want to give that up to anybody. I don't know about you, Chuck. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I use the term uh, more or less as a definition of the people in D.C. who But are that's not what they are. They're criminals. The they're criminals, and they're thugs, well, and they're gangsters, and see, those people shouldn't lead anybody. This is one of the things that I think is really disempowering about this conversation, the you-get-the-government-you-deserve conversation. Um, I, I, I I'm, would I'm agree. Not, I'm not saying that. Well, you kind of I'm are, right? Like, you're saying that that's no, how the politicians no, saying, get there. Right. I'm not saying that we get the government we deserve. I'm not saying that. Okay, um, what are you saying? I'm saying we need to we need to work in order to get the government that we de we deserve. How not, much more do you? Not, I mean, do you have to work? Right. right. I mean, people spend their lives trying to change one small thing. You can you can spend your whole life trying to change the school board. I mean, it's just crazy. Here, let me tell you about this. Uh, you may not have heard the whole show. Let me tell you about the Free State Project. The Free State Project is a project to move twenty thousand people who believe the and believe in the ideas of liberty, real human freedom, to one state where they can have success. 
in that state, we have had success, uh, New Hampshire, we have had successes far beyond the other 49 states. And I think you, you, what you'll see over time is that New Hampshire continues to pull ahead in the areas of human freedom, becoming one of the humans, one of the freest places on earth. And that's the best solution I can have to this. The yeah. whole let's bo- vote the bums out um, Never thing. Never works. It's been going on for and decades. And he's, he's is acknowledging that doesn't work. Chuck, I thank you for the time. We're short on it, uh, so thanks for calling tonight. Let's go to, I think we've got Luke listening in West Virginia to uh, WVTS. Hey, Luke. I'm actually not listening. I knew you guys were on air. I decided to call in. Thank you. Good enough. Go ahead. Yeah. Anyway, uh, you know, I've been getting into Bitcoin more and more lately. I've read about a lot. I'm into computers and things, and I just started using Bitcoin for more things. And I tell you, it it is so so nice, and it feels kind of empowering, and it's very easy. It's easy. Oh, Uh, isn't it? Yes, it is. I got the Pro XPN with the Bitcoin. I got a pretty solid discount on that. I ordered some pizzas the other day with a you know a gift card I bought you know, through a uh, vendor that accepts Bitcoin for gift cards. I bought some things online from you know a bunch of computer parts. So it's very easy to get into. So anyone who isn't yet is really thinking about it. Just just jump on and do it. I mean, everyone who's listening. You know, There's a great website the called WeUseCoins.com. It's a really good introductory yeah. website with like a quick two minute video that you can watch to really explain briefly what Bitcoin is. And actually, I was on the streets today in Keene, New Hampshire, handing out Bitcoin flyers to people. And you know, some folks are interested, some folks not so much. I actually, got a new business to start taking it in downtown Keene. So yeah, there's another local business that's taking bitcoins. It's actually like a vegetarian food truck. Luke, thanks for the call tonight, man. I appreciate hearing from you. Let's go to Mike listening uh, to WIBC in Indianapolis. Hello, Mike. Hi. I would first of all, I will agree with you guys on the politics. They're all crooks. Yep. But you guys were talking about Ill- immigrants, illegal immigrants, whatever. I mean, you guys are basically saying because we have a land border with Mexico that everybody should just be free to come here. Well, as long as we—I mean, first of all, ideally there should be no government welfare and people should take care of each other on their own voluntary means. Um, but yeah, I don't want to have a police state. So the only before way to- 1969, people from Mexico could come here, and then they went home after the growing season, the harvest season yeah, was over. I mean, if we've got a truly free, wonderful place to live, then people from all around the world should come here and make a better life for themselves. I mean, that's 67. That sounds like freedom to me, and a police state sounds like you know. People on the border checking IDs, show us your papers. I don't want to live in that world. Well, but if everybody's coming here, then how are the people who are born here, whose families have been here forever, supposed to live? Well, every, almost it's everybody possible. here was an immigrant at some point, right? And so the the actual path to immigration here in the United States is ridiculous. It's fraught with difficulty. It's insanely expensive. So I can't blame somebody. Because, for- because at some point, our country realized, you know, the dumbasses, sorry, my friend, the people in Washington realized we can't just keep letting everybody come here, sign an X on a piece of paper, and become a citizen. Why not? We have to shut it down. Why? Because at some point, you have more people than your economy. Doesn't work like that. Well, when you've got freedom, here, how, does you, not work, how does it not no, work like that? When you've got freedom, people come here and they buy things and they sell things, right? Like people consume and they produce. So how as many, more people, how many, how many, how many illegal immigrants come here and produce a product to sell? Um, um, they all produce them. labor. Yeah, anybody um, that's a lot working in lands do, that will do uh, yard work and anybody things that's like that. landscaping or roofing or doing construction, they're all they'll creating products. Cheap, they'll do they'll do cheap labor. Yeah, with no insurance, no nothing. So when they get hurt or someone they gets hurt because of their stuff, there's nothing to fall back on. Well, I mean, well, it's it's up to it should be up to me as a homeowner to decide who I want to hire. If I want to hire a yard crew that's not insured and they do it for half the price, then I might just do that. Uh, because you know I'm willing to take some risk. They're willing to take some risk, and uh, why should somebody have to go have and? You, dr- have you guys, have you two guys ever had to work a manual labor job in your life? I did roofing, uh, dishwashing. Uh, I've uh, you know done con- regular construction work. What do you so, want from me? So you're telling you're telling me that as doing those jobs, if you still did those, you would have no problem with an illegal coming here and cutting the throat of your boss by undercutting him by hundreds of dollars 
and you don't get to work anymore. Well, yeah, yeah, I think that that's I think that's a real issue, right? Like that's a difficult thing is when you're de- when you're competing against uh, you know other folks. But you know, consider that manufacturing in the United States has had to change over time because of the introduction of cheap items from from China. Consider for oh, a second. Trust me, consider, I know. I work in I work in manufacturing. Consider what happened to the blacksmith industry and the farriers when cars were introduced. They don't need horseshoes anymore. It's competition, man. Competition is supposed to be something that uh, folks value in the United States. But when the competition hits their own industry, all of a sudden they turn into protectionists. I wish we had more time for you, Michael. We're out of it for tonight. Join us again. Uh, If you're in Indianapolis, you'll hear us every Saturday night there on WIBC. If you are elsewhere, uh, check your local listings. You can always go to affiliate.freetalklive.com to see when and where we are on all across the United States. And, of course, you can always get us online anytime you want at freetalklive.com. Mark's on tomorrow night for the live Sunday show. Same time, same place. freetalklive.com. Have a great weekend. Talk. This is novelist Tom Robbins. When my mother was diagnosed with glaucoma, her conservative Virginia physician told her there was only one treatment that might ease her pain and save her eyesight. That treatment was medical marijuana, which he could not prescribe. I offered to get her some and teach her how to use it effectively, but my father objected because marijuana was against the law. So my mother, who loved to read and walk in nature, was condemned to grow cruelly, unnecessarily blind. Tragedies like this happen all the time, but they don't have to keep happening. To learn more about medical marijuana, call the Marijuana Policy Project at 1-877-JOIN-MPP or visit them on the web at mpp.org. If you want to move to the free state and you're looking for some real estate, well, I know a guy who's really great. It's the Realtor Mark Warden. You want a home with 20 acres, a lakeside cabin, any takers for renters, buyers, and sellers, too. Mark Warden is the guy for you. PorcupineRealEstate.com Free Talk Live has partnered with Amazon, the largest internet retailer. Imagine a department store category, and Amazon has it. Books, electronics, office products, furniture, jewelry, automotive, toys, clothing, sporting goods, and dozens of other categories. Now you can shop and support Free Talk Live by entering Amazon through our website. Go to shop.freetalklive.com, and Amazon will send us a portion of your purchase. You're going to do the shopping anyway, so remember to enter through our site at shop.freetalklive.com. That's shop.freetalklive.com. The live edition of Off the Air Live is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network, LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Saturday, October 18th, 2014. Silver is trading at $17.28 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,238 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $381. Antiwar.com reports top Israeli officials, as they tend to be every couple of months, were inconsolably outraged at Secretary of State John Kerry after Kerry said he believes that the unresolved Israeli-Palestinian peace process is a cause of recruitment for the Islamic State. Economic Minister Naftali Bennett led the official show of outrage, claiming Kerry was engaging in anti-Semitism for the comments, declaring someone will always blame the Jew. Bennett went on to claim Kerry's comments were aiding global terrorism. Other Israeli officials insisted the comments were unacceptable, largely officials who were opposed to the peace process and who were condemning Kerry for pushing it even before the Islamic State comments. The State Department tried to downplay the row, saying that they assume Israelis were given false information about what Kerry actually said and that Bennett was distorting his comments for political gains. In the spirit of Motorhome Diaries and Liberty on Tour, I intend to take the message of peace, love, and liberty on the road. To find out more about the tour or to donate, visit tour.fppradio.com. That's T-O-U-R dot F-P-P radio dot com. 
The Associated Press reports same-sex marriage became legal in Arizona on Friday, a sharp turn for a state that became a battleground in the clash over gay rights less than a year ago when the state legislature passed a bill allowing businesses to deny services to gays and lesbians. Same-sex couples lined up to marry at the courthouse in downtown Phoenix immediately after Attorney General Tom Horn announced that the state would not challenge a federal court decision that cleared the way for same-sex unions in the state. The decision bookends two weeks of non-stop court rulings across the nation, with judges striking down bans on 